praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God forever. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Please, as you come on, share the video. And those of you watching from YouTube, you know what to do. Da, 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 da. Okay. God bless you, Chantel Benjamin. Jennifer Vernon Weatherburn, God bless you. Mary Anton, John Thomas. Louis Anibaba, Nedu Matheson, God bless you. Ruth Logose, blessed. Gretel McLaren, Colin Parsons, Michael Dosite, Royal Chaville, Cheryl Williams, God bless you. Garcia Thompson, Tishna Swaby, Erica McRae Young, Sandra Ander, Jenny, Alcia Henry, Essie Glover, Trisha Blissful. Winsome Edmondson, Marlene Gibbons, Priscilla Anton, Juliet Fenton, Monica Pierre Emil Priscatch, Sherry Willis, Jackie M. Brown Charlene, Rebecca Piri, Chanel Gopal, Josephine St. Louis, Shane Green. Abdul Sese, Gary Winifred. Adelina Cavallo, Teresa Cox, Grace Kaifa, Regina Gay, Agnes Leons, Keisha Francis, Keisha Pierre Lewis, Christabel Alfred, Abdul Sese, did I call you? Yes, I did. Winsome Anglin Luletta will be. Anne Marie, Keisha Francis, Marva Marva, Kamala Mackenzie, God bless you, Pelin William, Bev Haas Mystique, Julian Nestor, Kiara Johnson, Marcia Pascal, Margaret Thomas, Giretta McDowell, Tanya Thomas, Gregory Emeka Bubedike, Chris Kache, Roland Roberts, Lena Swire Masimba, Heather Junai, Valerie Lepsley, Classy Willow Prosper, Ella Samuel, Cadian Beckford, Judy Cox, Michelle McDonald, Smith Chocolate Diva, Rosalind Fenak, Patience Shakarisa, Hemi Anthony, Marcia Atwell, Mary Nyanaro, Colin Neptil Anton, Monica Padifoot, Pam Wissi, Serena Walker, Asata Chroma, Nicole Tenke, Francis Joseph Dupigny, Jermaine Parchment, Joyce McDowell, Roy Anton, Alan Samuel, Siko Budu, Norma Barrett, Patricia Williams, Nicole Njayam, Crazy K Music, Annie Jackson, Skiller Polius, Vanessa Alphonse, Joseph Drummond, John Loppy, Beverly Morrison, Patricia Clark, Cello Charles, Julia Stephen, Edma Clement, Wiggy Howard, Body Simon, Dorothy Nicholas, Jeannie Harriet, Lucy Wiley, Flavia Flavius, Anne Marie Thales, Meadows Remis, Stephen Casey, Victoria Serreria, Sylvia Jordan, Maureen Grant, Patricia Clark, Grace Ayer, Flora Dennis, Arlen Getfield, Angu Raphael, Dwight. Wallace, Monica Francis, Selassie Seg, Theresa Francis, Julita Nestor, Wenwo Mason, Sylvia Alexander, Verna Charles, Janet Ewan, 
Kerry Remis, Michelle Williams, Maura Nelson, Wiggy Howard. God bless you, sir. Nicola McDonald. Just Vincent Lewis, God bless you. Leah George, God bless you. I'm doing great by God's grace. Grace Aya, Mama Mbo Anastasia, Daphne Glory, Mel Harriet Morant, Catherine Fama and Amir, Sherika Willis. Oh, praise God. Pastor, from me texting you, the pain stopped. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Benella Mathurin, Musu Cooper, Nicola Richards. Janelle Eugene. Lily Crawford, Laletta. Tasha Flavius, Andrea Leslie. Catalina Alfon, Shona Ati. Verna Charles, okay, I called you. Janelle Jules, Esther Holder. God bless you. Cynthia Fontenelle, Twister Best, Tommy. Vanessa Alphonse says, Pastor, my son, Cyril, and daughter, Sinessa. Alphonse are watching. God bless you all. Elijah Williams, Carrie Falcon, Venet Williams, Agnes Canoville, Giretta McDowell says, I've done my YouTube duty. God bless you. Carol Francis, Nadine Samuel. Lisa Bess, Felen Kozabon, Batia Oyenayin, Elena Emmanuel, Leo Allen, When Women's Nokia called you, Hidi Shalamain, Helena Emmanuel, Joy Flowers, Olive Abraham, Eilina Augustine Donay, Clotilda Flavius, Junella Maglore. Leah George, okay, I called you too. Kamala McKenzie, Wayne Felix, Tadiana Williams. Pastor, my wife is waiting for her name. We just got a new new phone. So we're struggling to get you on Facebook. Okay, I, I think I called. I think I called a second time, right? Right as well. Congratulations. Marcia Reed, Wilbur Nestor, Courtney Fletcher, Rhea Frederick, Donna Atkinson. Favor Victoria Gant, Maria Similane, Dennis Harley, Favor Chin, Vera Mason, Princess Riley, Brown Charlene. Oh, praise God. Last night I slept well, no waking up during the night. Praise God, praise God. Olaito Gamsi, Lynn Gaines, Olive Nkwo Papa, Nkwo Papa, I think that's the name, right? Serena Walker, Margaret Thomas says, Rita Jala is watching, God bless you. Arlene Plummer, Margaret Cyrus, God bless you. Drusilla Emmanuel, Stella Bro, Monette Defoe. Dana Wilcock, Mina Monoroth, Mo Edward, Chantal Fongi, Lily Crawford, Laletta, Dorothy Parker, June Thomas, Madavis NK, Consuela Cobbs, Lil J. This is Evelyn Ebaco, okay? Sylvia Jordan, okay? God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Anne Marie Atkinson Bailey, God bless you. Selinda Gopal, Victoria Mami Taylor, God bless you. Donna Reed, God bless you. Ah, 
Grace, this is an amazing testimony. Oh, praise God. Thank God the headache left me. I'm feeling good today. Remember yesterday I talked about somebody. I said, I don't know. Something's wrong with your head and you have to wear a hat or something. You have to wear something on your head because of something, something on your head. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I need this testimony. This is awesome. Last night while we're praying the the mass prayer, I talked about somebody who um I talked about somebody there's something on your head, and because of that, you have to wear something on your head. I talked about that. Praise God. Hallelujah. I talked about that yesterday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, she said it's not been easy. Hmm. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is amazing. Glory to God. I, I, I really need to hear your testimony. I wish we could bring you on today. Wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, glory to God. I was so excited about that testimony. I stopped calling the names. Okay. Valerie Dyer. God bless you. Teddy Hamilton, Pat Jackson, Naomi Joseph, Black Millington, Maureen Grand, Delphina Spiri, Ila Polius, Sylvester Clement. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. Thank you, Jesus. Yvonne Moore Began, Annabelle Rollins, Marina McGee, Mary Phillip. Okay, my mom and dad, Sheila and Simon Frederick. God bless you. God bless you. Anne Marie Brown. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Lydia Bonge. God bless you. Patricia Clark. Did I call you before? God bless you. Alicia Martin. Marcia Mila. God bless you. Yeah. <speaking in Spanish> Angel as therefore God bless you. Driscoll Davis, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Byron Robinson. Maria Similin says, Pastor, last night was amazing. For the first time, I, I listened to the program without falling asleep. Praise God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Priscilla Vigilant, God bless you. Essa Louise, Macy, Stephanie Genius, Princess Riley. Adelina Cavalli says, thank you, Jesus. I have passed my license to admin administer medication. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. Praise God. Michelle McDonald, did I call you before? Shema, Shem, Shem. Martina and Ginimbot. God bless you. Silas Wren. Princess Riley. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. Who is ready for us to start while um, we're waiting for others to jump on? Frank, Senior, Josiah, and Haley. God bless you all. God bless you. Who's ready for us to start so we can maximize the time tonight? Francie. No, God bless you. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Judith Douglas. Judith Douglas, you're um, from uh, Trinidad, right? Please, we we'll need to reach out to you. Hey, 
Hey, Ramasaya. Judith Douglas. So please just send a message, okay? Judith Douglas. Muyunda Paul Liboma, God bless you. Yeah, please send us a message, okay? Okay. Leah and Clinton. Okay, you're watching. God bless you all. Mitch Motley. Dental phone, Jack. I thought I called you earlier. I thought I did. Brown Florida and Angelia Frazier Lee. Aisha, Aisha. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise God. Pastor, I slept well and felt so peaceful after you prayed for me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Victoria Taylor says, Pastor, please pray for me. Feel seriously sick. If it's a situation that you need to go to the emergency, please go, okay? You're feeling seriously sick. But we'll pray as we pray tonight. God will touch you and heal you. But if it's something you need to do, please, okay? Nadicha James, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Don Wiles, God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Right where you are, everyone, I want you to just begin to bless the name of Jesus. Just begin to appreciate him. Thank him for his faithfulness and his kindness. Thank him for his great love. Just thank him, honor him, and adore him. Just honor him and adore him. Just bless his name. He's worthy of our worship. He's worthy of our praise. Just bless his name. Siba Kayatu Man Savrata Kayata. Just bless his name. Say, Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy. Katalaban Daraba Shataha. Just bless the name of the Lord. Say, Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, I bless your name. You are worthy. You are worthy. Simo Kaliba Ranan Safasita Kandera Man to Astu Palakia. Lebila Nim Fretito Kante Baskito Gradisha Palaman to Kosete. Rabba Kanto Koshakido Kanta Brada Kasata. Just pray, pray, pray. Say, Lord Jesus, I worship you. Make Yabande Labra Nim Saki Sokonde Labalita Kanta. Ronte shaki botama anta liba sakaya. Ronte sheke tabayanda basika labaronte. Vranto konte shika barama shika dabasataha. Manto posekido kante brente fasika balakoyada. Rakuta bele bele bataga sipa konta. Masiporando sheke te posita. Makunta jipa lika balakona masata. Make da bashanta baseke te poshata. Maka just bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, we worship you. Lord, we bless your name. We magnify you. We glorify you. Excellent God, great God. We thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the love with which you've loved us. Oh, Sibakaya, what would we do without you? What would we do without you? How awesome you are. How magnificent you are. Yes, yes, yes. The glorious God, Ruba Dia Santa, the one who is light. In in him there is no darkness at all. Labako Sayatabaha. So we worship you, Lord. We worship you, excellent God, King of glory, Son of righteousness, bright morning star, ancient of days. We exalt you. We thank you for all that you've done for us and all that you continue to do. Thank you for provisions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for protection. Masote kalabaranda sipa koyata meliba sito fakandora bashaka dabaha o sipa kanda siata. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, you remain Lord, you remain God, you remain King. Oh, Tibo Santa, Liba Rabasaya, you are the one who dwells in light that no man can approach unto. La Beka Seke Tabasayata, Mere Patum Fratika Tum Seka Soko Rabahanda, Lipa Pakanta Ke Seke Badokate, La Baranta Sipa Kayata, Lord God, Masher. 
Maria Baba, Monte Caseke da Bacayata, Massekete. Oh, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. So could a Bacanta, Manto Conte, Sipa la Conda Basacaya. Oh, we glorify you, we glorify you. Oh, Shika Barabaton, Rehede Basita Handa, Liba Conte, Santo Lobakia Naman, Sofrada Canta, La Papa 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 Besayata. Oh, we glorify you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Latimo Santa Kadabaha, Libo Con Sekeda Basaka Yataba, Masonte Katobo Sayata, Maconta Sheke La Bacunta Sika Palata, Mash. Shonta keda basakaya. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Oh, Tamasakara Bashanda Basaka Baba. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Shikada Bakaya Tamaseke da Bahana. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If we spend all eternity appreciating God, if we spend all eternity worshiping Him, it won't be enough for all that He has done for us and all that He continues to do. Oh, glory to God. There are not enough words to say how much he means to us how worthy he is. Not enough words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we are grateful. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Right now, I want you to begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I want to begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I want to begin to declare, say, Lord Jesus, Masho Tokoya. Begin to plead the blood. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I declare that Jesus died for my sins. He shed his blood to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I declare that Satan has no claims over me because of the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, the blood of Jesus Christ. That blood purifies me. That blood sanctifies me. Yes, God, so takaya, because of the blood of Jesus Christ, I know I am heaven bound because of the blood. Makota basaya daraman tekesete. He said, anyone that looks up to the brazen serpent, say that one will be saved. Yes, and the serpent bite, the effect of the serpent fight bite will be neutralized. The same way Jesus said, just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hey, the blood of Jesus Christ, Sipakaya, on that cross, Jesus shed his blood. His blood was spilled on that cross. And because of the blood, Palakaya Tabasata, we have eternal life we believe that jesus is the son of god we believe yes and all our sins are washed away because of the blood of jesus christ all our sins are washed away because of the blood of jesus christ sickness is eliminated because the bible says he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, by his stripes, we are healed. Oh, we thank you for the blood. Oh, Yes, Oh, Oh, thank you, Jesus. Kato boromon sheke da ha. Manto kaseke ta kabaya ta ha. Manto kasika balon ta brande shakala ba ha. Oh, karabashanta keda basata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name forever. Glory to your name forever. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the blood. Thank you for the cleansing blood. Thank you for the cleansing blood. Oh, Shaka Balakata Bahaya. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We are still praying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right now, I want you to pray for the Czech church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to pray for the Czech church. Now, anything that is close to Jesus receives attacks. Anything that is close to Jesus receives attacks. If you are there making, if you are there making an impact, blessing life, Satan will fight back. Hallelujah. I want us first of all to thank God for the miracles that we saw last night. I want us to appreciate God and thank him for the miracles we saw last night. Thank him sincerely. See, he doesn't have to do anything to prove that he is God. He doesn't have to heal anybody. He doesn't have to do none of that. But he healed. We saw God heal instantly. We saw God deliver. We saw God bless and touch lives. Just give him thanks. Say, Palota, for the miracles that we see. Oh, Shaka Bakata Basayata. Mayeka Pusataka de la Pradia Sakosa. Yes, we thank you for the miracles. Oh, we give you praise for the miracles. Sapala Koyadaba. Right now, begin to thank him. Sekaya, the Czech church. Yes, is the house of prayer, not a den of thieves. That the fire of God's spirit will continue to burn on this altar. Yes, the fire of God's spirit will continue to burn on this altar. That Jesus be continually glorified in this house. In everything that we do, Jesus will be continually glorified as a church we are growing in leaps and bounds we are increasing in every ramification in the name of jesus christ oh Oh, Shakora Base Katoshataha. Oh, Sikatabaya. Yes, let the fire of God's Spirit continue to burn on this altar in the name of Jesus. Let Jesus be continually glorified in the Czech Church. Let Jesus be continually glorified in all that we do, in everything that we do. Lord God, let the name of Jesus be glorified. Let Jesus be glorified in this house. Let Jesus be glorified. Let many be saved, healed, delivered, blessed, and transformed. Oh, shaka pa 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 maraba shanta pa sokota bayanta pa lakoshata. Let Jesus be glorified. Oh, shakonda basata makora basika pa lakoya da basanta. Oh, kalabasanta krede kesa balata. Oh, yes, kasata. Lord, in everything that we do. Let Jesus be glorified. Oh, shaka baraba kanta besa koya dabaha makonta seke teke bushoto. Yes, Lord God. Oh, shaka dabasaya. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are still praying. We are still praying. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We are still praying. Right now, I want you to pray for the nations of the world. Hallelujah. Now, this is a very important prayer because a lot is going on around the world. So many things are happening around the world. Hallelujah. So many things are happening around the world. And we as Christians, we must stand our grounds. We must pray. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city that is set upon a hill cannot be hid. Hallelujah. There are many things we may not be able to do, but we can pray. Hallelujah. And when we pray, oh, I'm telling you, there will be changes. Things will happen when we pray. Hallelujah. Begin to pray for your country 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray for your country. Pray for your country in the name of Jesus. Pray for that country in which you live. Let there be light in that country in the name of Jesus. Let the counsel of God stand in that country in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light. Let there be light in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ shine to the ends of the earth in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Luda Bando, Scanto Prakadif Sakente Bella Kuya Dabas, Makunta Sheke Dabakoyata, Maseketa, let there be light, let there be light, let there be light in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ, Roka Bando Skita Bala Kuya Bashanta, Manto Kun Seke Dabalambaha, Makunta Sheke Tabalatakaya, let there be light, God Parabashanta. Oh, we come against the activities of darkness. Leave us so to spirit of stealing, killing, destruction. Makonta shake it abayanta. Ja makabayete palaton safisa kuna lebe luta kia ban safesto kalaba lata ha makonta shika barunta el predeshka makonde kaseke la kura bashanta makapa pa 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 makapa pa 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 makapa pa 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 maseke ra bashanta palakoya da bashanta maseke talota kia basanta manta kon sabranta kida ka Sakayata in the name of Jesus Luda Bela Man Sefa Soko Rabashanta Manto Conte Keda Basika Balata Makura Bashanta Leketa Basakaya O Shaka Baba 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 Makandos Kasipa La Kura Basata Lord God let there be light in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus La Koya Bashanta Krida Basanta Kede Kesha let your glory be revealed in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Kasaka Bayata. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Glory to God! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Praise God! Now, you see, this prayer point is very important. Hallelujah! Remember, in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. When Jesus was teaching them a model of prayer, one of the things he said was, let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because after the disconnection of man from God, after Adam did what he did, After Adam did what he did, there was a change. Hallelujah. There was a change. The order changed. Things became different after Adam did what he did. So we that have been restored, our relationship has been restored. It is our duty for us to pray and say, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. When we pray like that, we activate angels. Hallelujah. When we pray like this, we activate angels to intervene in the affairs of men and to bring the order of heaven on earth. Glory to God. When we pray like this, wars will cease. When we pray like this, violence will cease. When we pray like this, hunger will cease. Economic downturn and the likes, all those kind of things will cease when we pray like this. We say, let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory to God. So every time we pray, remember to pray for the nations. Pray for your country, especially the country in which you live. Hallelujah. Pray. Pray and say, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Right now, I want us to pray for ministers of the gospel. I want to pray for Christians all over the world, especially those that are facing persecution. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when you are in a country where there is peace, 
you know, and you know everything is going good for you. You might not know that there are other people who are being killed for their faith in Jesus Christ. People are being persecuted for their faith in Jesus Christ. But we, that God has given us peace, it's important for us to pray for those who are afflicted, those who are persecuted. There are people who are in prison today in some countries in the Middle East because of their faith. Hallelujah. It's our duty to pray for them. Hallelujah. Begin to pray for Christians, especially those that are persecuted all over the world, that God will release, that their, their, their release will come, that God will come to their aid in the name of Jesus, that help will come for them, that the strength, yes, the strength of God will be made perfect in their weakness. We put a stop to the affliction of the oppressor in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as Paul Saul was arrested. Even as Saul was arrested, let the oppressors be arrested. Let the oppressors be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Shaka Yataba. Pray, pray, pray. Say, Lord God, Rabbi Saya, let help come for them. Let help come for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Sima Kayataba. We pray, Lord God, for ministers of the gospel. Sima Nemo Kanta Baraka Nim Safesa Kodaba. Lord God, let there be help for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Makonta Sipala Kanto Kosaka Bayata. Peraganto Paratusha Frante Katabasaya. Rakuta Sheketa Basakaya. Rapa Papa Papa Pakato Paseke Rabashanta. Manta Ke Soto Korabasa. In the name of Jesus, let help come for them, Father. Labranto Sakada Bashaya. In the name of Jesus, Koya Bashanta, we pray for ministers of the gospel, those Kashata that are carrying the blood stained banner at the forefront, carrying the blood stained banner of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for them. Shate Kaya, that you continue to enable them to do that which you sent them to do. Lord, in their weakness, let them be made strong. In their weakness, let them be made strong. In the name of Jesus Christ, Sikatorata, every satanic conspiracy, Masota against them, Lord God is cancelled. Liba Kasoto Konta Basata, Makata Bayanta Lepa Kasata, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Kasata Kaba. Yataha manto kote kete ke basakaya in the name of Jesus Kora Bashanda O Titakanta Branto Fasaka Yataha Maleba Sonte Katoshe Kido Baha in the name of Jesus. Oh hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh hallelujah. You know when we pray like this, when we pray like this, something happens. Hallelujah. When we pray like this, something happens. Something changes in the realm of the spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I want to pray for tonight's service. I want to pray for tonight's service. I want you to pray and say, Lord God Almighty. I want to pray. Say, Lord tonight as we pray yes touch everyone present tonight touch everyone present tonight service let no one leave the same we come again to spirit of slumber as every form of distraction we come against in the name of jesus christ pray and say father what Whatever you have for me tonight, I'm open to receive every message, every package, every blessing. I'm open to receive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody begin to pray. Liba kasoto konte karabashanta liba kasota marekanto sheke labakayata lazipa seke da konta flita kia da baha masi. Begin to pray. Say, Lord God, touch 
everyone present tonight. Oh, let no one leave this place the same. Lord, meet everyone at the point of their needs for healing, for deliverance, or breakthrough, for open doors, for blessings. Lord, touch everyone present. Praise the Lord God. Masota, I'm open to receive whatever you have for me tonight. Every blessing, every message, every package, whatever you have, Lord, I will not miss my time of visitation. Tonight is my time of visitation. I will not miss it for anything. In the name of Jesus, Kasoka Labahanda, Rapa Papa Papa Pacando, Rapa Shika Dabatakaya. Ja mante ka soto konte pasita ha li bronte ka sota handa basekeda la prakate ke saya touch everyone present jesus for your glory la baranto sheketa kosata o shaka pa 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 manta pa soko raba shanta keda basata ha o shaka ta basaya thank you lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sipa koya da basanta la basata for all sakaya baratas. Everyone, Lord, for your glory. Jesus kasaka badaha. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right now, I want you to pray. And say, Lord, use your servant for your glory. Use your servant as a vessel to express yourself tonight. Open his eyes to see what he ought to see. Open his ears to hear what he ought to hear. Open his mind to know what he ought to know. Use him for your glory tonight. Use him for your glory. Somebody begin to pray. Say, Lord God, use your servant for your glory. Use your servant for your glory. Laba kasata. Use him as a vessel to express yourself. Libo sakota for healing, for deliverance, for breakthrough, for open doors. Use him for your glory. La kosakabaka na masayata. Yes, put your word in his mouth. Put your word in his mouth. Let him speak a word in season. Yes, that word that will minister grace to the hearers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makonta sheketa basakayata. Oh. Open his eyes to see what he ought to see. Open his ears to hear what he ought to hear. Open his mind to know what he ought to know. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, use him. Sakeda ila baraktu shata melika sonta pela kasivra tikta mento asto prakadim sakasota la balanto fastu kasipa la konta basata. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Moka bayando sheke da basita handa basata. Oh shaka baba 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 shaka rabashanta manto saya for your glory, Jesus, for your glory. Oh hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Oh thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Reke da basaya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you, we honor you, we adore you. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for the great love with which you have loved us. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You never change. You never change. The unchangeable changer. You are the unmovable mover. We give you praise and thanks for all that you've done for us and all that you continue to do. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that continues to speak for us because of that blood. We can stand confidently in your presence without guilt or shame or stain. Oh, we give you thanks. What would we do without the blood of Jesus Christ? Lord God, we thank you. Lord God Almighty, that blood continues to speak better things than the blood of Abel. Oh, because of the blood, Satan has no claims over us whatsoever. We can stand in your presence without guilt, without shame, without stain, because of what Jesus did for us. Even in this season, as we remember the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the, what you did for us by dying for us. Because you died, we live.
Oh, Shikamayena Masanta Basata. Lord God Almighty. Oh, Teleba Santa Keda Kia Masi Frante Kasoto. We pray for the Czechic Church. Firstly, we thank you for the miracles we saw yesterday. We thank you for all that you continue to do, not because we are better than anyone. It's your grace and your mercy. Lord, we are powered by mercy. We are powered by grace. We see your mercy speaking for us. We see your grace speaking for us. And we are thankful, eternally thankful. Manto asekla grida banta festo kola bahanda. Lord God Almighty. Oh, we thank you. Yes, as a church, we are moving forward. We are making progress. We are forcefully advancing. We are unstoppable by the forces of this life. No weapon formed against us can prosper. Every tongue that is raised against us is condemned. For you said in your word that they will come in one way and they will flee in seven ways. Every force that comes against us, Lord, we watch them flee. For you said in your word that there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. The house of David grew stronger and stronger, but the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker. Lord God, we watch the house of Saul grow weaker and weaker. Until there is none. In the name of Jesus Christ, you said in your word that scripture cannot be broken. We will see the fulfillment of scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lapa Soto Koya, you said upon this rock, you built your church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. They will try, Makota Kabasataha. They will try, but it just won't work. Liba Seketa Bakonamas. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, Komba Sakala Bahanda. Oh, shika baba ba, manto ko sekido kana masaka yata. Oh, sakata basata ha. Lord God, we pray. Makato seke yata. Everyone connected to this house. Lord God Almighty, their lives will be from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from victory to victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, they will see the fulfillment of your word in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, Marco Sakata Kabasata, increase in the presence and glory of God in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, Sikala Bacanto, Rebeda Bacanta, Baseke Takanamasa. In the name of Jesus, Morabashanta, Kida Kina Feleba, Lebe Santo Kosekiata, for some trust in horses and some trust in chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord, the infallible name of Jesus Christ, Regebanomfa Ista Palakia, Lebi Sokora Bahanda. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for every nation that is represented here tonight. We use a point of contact to pray for the nations of the world. Lord God, let there be light in the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, in every darkness, let there be light. Lord God, Paratosa, let the glorious gospel spread in the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus, let the counsel of God stand in the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. God, Masota, your word says evil bows before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. Let evil bow, let evil bow, let evil bow in the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of stealing, killing, destruction in the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we pray for Christians all over the world. We pray for those who are persecuted, those who are suffering. Lord God, we pray. Oh, that help will come for them. Lord, let the oppressors be arrested. So that even as Saul was arrested, let the oppressors be arrested. Let there be a chain. In the name of Jesus, let there be a change. Lord God, Paranim Sakisto Kasabahana Makataba, Merakashan Tokoseke Dabaha. Lord God, we pray 
Oh, Simokanta, even for ministers of the gospel, those who you have sent to spread the message of the kingdom, Lord God, we pray for them. That you continue to strengthen them and enable them. Libo Santa Keda Basa. Yeah, that you continue to provide for them for the work. In the name of Jesus Christ. Liba Seke Manum Saka Sokoda Bakata. Makonte Sheke Dabakonta. Zipa Sika Balakoya Basanta. Monta Keya Dabashanta. Manto Kora Basanta Keda Basaka Yata. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, se balanta factus que parakido cansa, zipo lakino anta braconte que satahala. Lord God Almighty, we pray for tonight's service. Lord God Almighty, I pray for everyone present, everyone under the influence of my voice, wherever they are around the world. Lord, I pray that you fill them up with the maximum load of God in the name of Jesus Christ, that no one will leave the same tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, the angel that has been sent from heaven, Lord God, that they will release all that you have for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, that they will release all that you have for them in the name of Jesus Christ, that no one will leave the same. In the name of Jesus for healing, for deliverance, for breakthrough, for open doors, for salvation. Oh Lord God, that you meet them at the point of their needs tonight. In the name of Jesus, at the end of today's service, they would have known that something has happened. Father God, Labasata, we pray for your servant. We ask that you use him for your glory. Use him as a vessel to express yourself, Lord. Yes for healing, for deliverance, for breakthrough, for open doors. Use him for your glory. Open his eyes to see what he ought to see. Open his ears to hear what he ought to hear. Open his mind to know what he ought to know. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, we dedicate tonight's service unto you. We ask that you have your way. Have your way in everything, Jesus. Have your way. Man to oste palaka, name sakasata. Have your way, Jesus. Oh, Sibo Kalabarata. Blessed be your name, our Father. Thank you for hearing. Thank you for answering our prayers. Faithful God, we glorify you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And the people said, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to welcome every one of you to our midweek service Bible study. Glory to God. Midweek Bible study. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I can assure you that God has something very special for you tonight. Oh, I'm very sure of that. Glory to God. That God has something special for you tonight. And at the end of tonight's service, I just know that your life will not be the same again. Hallelujah. I just want to appeal for one thing, don't let anything distract you tonight. Hallelujah. Don't let anything distract you tonight. Just one word from God can change your life forever. One word, just one. One word from God. Just one thing that God will tell you tonight can change your life forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We're going to go straight to a time of worship. Hallelujah. Remember, I've told you before, when it comes to worship, two very important things. When we worship, your attention. Be focused when we, you worship. And then also your affection. Let your emotions be involved when you worship. Hallelujah. Let your emotions be involved when you worship. Praise the Lord. 
glory to God. And I've told you before, every time we get the worship right, miracles happen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, let's go straight into worship and I'll be back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Bible says, now is the hour that the Lord seeketh true worshipers. People that will lay aside all their burdens, all their pains, all their anxiety and worship God sincerely from their hearts. Come and just bless the name of God this morning. Worship God in other tongues. Worship Him in, in your understanding. Just say something nice to Him. Say sweet words to him, say sweet words to him. Just bless the name of Jesus this morning. Bless the name of Jesus, 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 bless the name of Jesus. As the deep hands for the waters so my soul long get after thee you are on my heart this I and I long to worship you Oh, as the deep hands for the waters of my soul, long get after thee. Oh, you are on my heart. This Somebody sing it to him as the deep
Gaza.
the angels bow down in adoration we join them now as we lift our voice we cry worthy worthy is your name We exalt your holy name for you are Lord and God, King of glory, strong and breasted one, self-existent one, self-sufficient one. We worship you. Oh, oh.
God in spirit and in truth the angels of God show up and when they show up they come with messages and packages I want you to lift your hands to the Lord right now lift your hands to the Lord and receive a touch from the Lord receive a touch from the Lord just lift your hands to the Lord Lift your hands to the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. I need touch from the master I need a touch from the Lord touch me one more time oh Lord he touched me he touched me Oh, oh, oh. 
Touch of the Lord, we receive, we still receive, we receive. Oh, Jesus makes all the difference. We receive, we receive, we receive, we receive. Oh, she had the Arabasia, Sula Ironano Ati, Lebelota Mianas. So cold de la Bahia, so colo boromon de Yabasiadas, si anamora mana, si amara baraba, so ligana mano masia da bacon de rabasia marosa, sunanina nambo robo sheke nama koya da basaya. Oh, shakata baladabas, sako la handa, shakade alabasi. Soko na manana, la di bakora bashi na masia la bakona, leberano ati falmi, limonina ikaparosa, ronde elmenin sa kiso kido kanto brada basa, sami na no vredia kasaya. We came because of you, Lord. We came because of you, Lord. Your presence makes the difference, Lord. Your presence makes the difference. La baraconda rabacana manso ikatia falamanto. Eleberita kina falmanim sa ita ita alme. Rondia tisha kligra dansa barabaconsa. Aramando atakila bansa kayabayaba. Oh, shakana malodaki adabarora base leberadosha leberadosha lerabashana rabakano rabasaya rakanomra irabaso konda rabasaya labakano mansa labrakanda rabaso koda ba ayarabasaya labarabarabarabarabo santo labarabarabo saya loda biratom sa ira da 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 Rakamaroba shela baraconta irabasaya, ropa kana masoya, roke ni na na zone laya, luna ina nanta, makio ansa pela kia baronta atomre iradasa. Oh, kaka kata da 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 da, rakabara bashanta kabaya, romashia rabaseke de bokoya. Oh, kaka taba ya rabasaya. Oh. Barabasinta libero camina ora basa la caraba santo lo boko na basa ya oh kakata ba ya rabasa ya oh kabai oh kabai oh kabai oh kabai ya la basa ya ramani ya santo unvalaki abas oh we worship you we worship you we worship you. 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 We worship you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Oh, glory to your name. Glory to your name. 
Glory to your name. Glow. Glow. Oh, Sakaya. Yes, my glory and the lifter of my head. Solimaku Nahaya. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. Yes. 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 Yes, for thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. That's who you are. That's who you are. What is man that thou art mindful of him? What is man that you are mindful of him? Oh, see a tani mahi leruda velma loti kasombe la kanta baya namasaya. Oh, the greatest thing in all our lives, oh God, is to be at your feet and worship you. Nothing else matters in this world, Lord. Nothing else matters. Nothing else. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Evermore. Forever. Forever. Oh, Sakalabakanaba. Labaraba shanta kedahas. Oh, Libakanamase. Lebelako shakamandosa. Oh, we worship. We worship. We worship you. We worship you. Blessed be your name, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I saw like a, someone, I saw like you were having, it's like in a dream. But somebody was trying to drag you to somewhere and you were fighting with the person and you came out of that dream. I don't know when this happened. I feel like it's recent, but I'm not sure. But who is that person? Quick, 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 quick. Come forward. We need to cancel something in your life. We need to cancel death because the Lord told me the next time they come they will take you thou O oh Lord art a shield for me my glory lift of my head for thou what a shield for me, my glory, the lifter of my head. For thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory. And the lifter of my head. My glory and the lifter of my head. When, when do you have such a dream? Give her a mic. Okay. I've been having um, this dream since I was a kid. Since it's been a long time, but it ceased after some time. It ceased in 2022. The dream ceased. After he came back in 2023, later he came back again. I found, I keep seeing myself some tracking me into the water or mm. into a well or something like a hole. Mm. Then I will eventually get up. So they'll be dragging you into like a oh, like water, water like or water. well or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like a hole. But the time when they push me, I'm about to reach the under. I will get up from the sleep. When last did you have this experience? Uh, 
should be two weeks back. Two weeks? Yes. Okay, take the mic to this to her. Um, for me, it was last week, around last the same week. time, like my sister was detained. I had this dream of, uh, you know, police. They dressed as police, but they, it was as if they weren't. So they were with guns and they were trying to, like, keep me in a place. I tried to escape and then more, more of them were coming from the direction I was trying to escape. And then I woke up. What I saw was the whole the person and they are dragging the person. That happened to you? Yes, sir. And then you were fighting with yeah, them to release yourself. To, yeah. And then you woke up. Yeah, like I actually came out and then when I got outside, I was trying to escape. I saw another group of them coming towards me. Everybody sit down. For me, my glory and the lifter of my head. Okay. Mm, just look at my eyes, okay? Step. Come, look at me again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're free. My glory and the lifter of my head. You know she doesn't belong to you, all right? Hmm? I'm talking to you. You know she doesn't belong to you, right? Hmm? Hmm? Speak. Bring the mic. You know she doesn't belong to you, right? Speak. Where are you trying to drag her to? Hmm? What are you trying to drag her to? You've been trying so hard to deem her star. Come here. Come. You've been trying so hard to deem a star, right? Huh? Hmm? Do you like the worship that is going on? Because I see how the stages around the world singing and bringing worship to God. And that hurts you to know that it will happen. Pick her up, pick her up. For thou, O Lord, art a shield. Yeah, tell us, uh huh. What have you been doing? What have you been up to? You want me to laugh with you? Yeah? Give me that spray bottle. Thank you, Lord. 
in Jesus' name. Pick her up. Are you ready now? And the lift her up my head. Okay, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Do you like the worship? No. Why don't you like it? What does it remind you of? Huh? Okay, give me the bottle. It needs one more. Go on shot. The mighty name of Jesus. Not a shield for me. My glory and the lifter of my head. For thou art a shield. Listen, what is happening now is an emergency because they're going to take her life. They're going to take her life. And that's why we have to do this now. Come. Why do you want to take her life? Huh? Why do you want to take her life? We don't want her singing. You don't want her singing. Come, come and stand here. Come and stand here. You don't want her singing. Oh. Why? Why don't you want her singing? No. Huh? No. Why don't you want her singing? What does the singing do to you? Huh? It pushes us away. It pushes you away. So you actually want to take her life? Huh? Huh? I want her to suffer. You want her to suffer. Okay, so who are the people dragging her in the dream? You made it. Huh? You made it seem like police people. You made it seem like it's police people? Yes. But who are the people actually? We. We. we when you say we, who is we? We, we. We is who? Agents. Agents from where? You know. I know what. Come, 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 come here. From where? Huh? From our master. From your master? Who is your master? You know him. Speak. You know him. You know him. Who is your master? You know him. I will ask one last time. Speak. Tell us your master. Huh? Lucifer. Lucifer. Who? Lucifer. Lucifer. That's your master. Yes, yes, yes. Come, 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 come. Do you like the Chucky Church? No. Huh? No. Why don't you like the Chucky Church? Because he is here. Because what? He is here. Who is that? Him. Who is him? I don't want to say his name. Jesus. Come, 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 come. When you are gone, what's going to happen in your life? Huh? She'll be free. She'll be free. Come. Thank you, Lord. All right, you, you go now, okay? Huh? They have be free. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She's free. My glory and the lifter of my head. Why 
are you crying? Why are you crying? You don't know. What's the name of your master? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is your master. Nobody else. Nobody else. Jesus. Yeah, he is. I saw you praying on Friday. What were you asking God for? Um, you were kneeling down. Um, I was okay because um, of my my status in Cyprus. First of all, I was asking God because I felt like the dream I had about like the police people was immigration or something so i was asking god to like help me like i didn't know how to start or how to go about it it was like the main prayer don't worry everything will be fine okay and god will say to you you will not have problem with police it's not about police okay you have a very bright star. You are international and the world will hear from you. The devil has failed over your life. Somebody give Jesus a big hand. My glory and the lifter of my Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you happy to be in church? Are you glad you're in church? Hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus a big hand. Thank you, Lord. All right. God bless the choir. You may have your seat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What a glorious God we serve. Hallelujah. And every time we see the power of God in manifestation, it's always amazing. Every time we see the things that God does, it's always amazing. Glory to God. And like I told you, I said every time we get the worship right, miracles always happen. Hallelujah. And also it's very important for you to realize that when God is in the vicinity, when God is in the vicinity, he is no respecter of persons. Hallelujah. He is no respecter of persons. He doesn't just come to touch just one person. Hallelujah. I like that. These deliverances never get old. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Did you notice when that thing was manifesting, I said, who is your master? I said, Lucifer. But after she regained her consciousness, I said, who is your master? She said, Jesus. And she was even wondering why I was asking that. Like, is there any doubt? Yes, because Jesus is her master. But what was speaking was not God was another something else. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to welcome every one of you once again to our midweek service. Today is special. I actually wanted to make that worship short, but the Lord was like, no, allow it. Let it go on. And just as God was touching that sister in that service, you know, the power of God is undated. Glory to God. The power of God is undated. The same thing he did in that service, he's doing even now. Glory to God. He's doing even now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes I wonder, Father, should I go and check YouTube? Because I'm thinking... Praise God. Glory to God. 
I'm thinking should I check YouTube because I just feel like the likes on YouTube will not be much. 115. 180 people watching. 181 people watching on YouTube. And 158 is not enough. Everyone, just go ahead and like the video on YouTube. Those of you watching, especially those of you watching on YouTube, like the video. Today, I'm also live streaming on my personal page. So on this, um, there are 13 people watching on my personal page. I just chose to live stream it today. So just in case you're not seeing most people on there, that's where it is. But if you want to be where everybody else is, you can come on the page. Okay. So I'm sure some people are wondering what's happening. Those of you on Facebook, you'll be wondering what's happening. There's just 13 of us here. Or 14. Yeah, that's because uh, it's on my personal page. I just chose to live stream there also. But if you want to be where everybody else is, you can be on the ministry page. Check it, Church Ministries International. If you're on there, you see where everybody is. <laughs> so as this pastor stand your ground every week you have to always remind us thank you lord you see 128 good job all right two to go two to go see i know you you guys are the best you see <laughs> you see, I know you're 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 good like that. Huh? See, I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. You see, one thirty-one. You see, see they are the best. You see that? <laughs> Praise the Lord, glory to God, Hallelujah! All right, we're going to watch a very interesting drama today. Today's drama is really funny. But there are very important lessons to learn. Very, very important lessons to learn. All right, let's have the drama. Pastor Marvin. Have a seat. Pastor Carmen. What's going on? Ah. Let me even start. Let me begin. Please, I want to ask you a genuine question and I just want to hear your response. All right. You know, we started ministry together. You're doing your own thing. I'm doing what the Lord has called me to do. How come was struggling like this? Look at me. I say I'm serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday I wake up, I open this church, everything. Well, I'm only rent. The church is not progressing, nothing is happening. To be honest, man of God, I'm tired. Ah. In fact, see, I've, I woke up today deciding I'm done with ministry. Pastor Marvin, how can you say such a thing? No, we don't give up. We do not give up. Yes, I understand things may not be working the way you expect them to. But the Bible says there's time for everything. This season, what's going on here? It's only for a moment, okay? It will soon pass away. If God calls you, he will equip you. He will make sure that you have everything that you need. Just hold on to the word of God. This thing will soon pass away, okay? Pastor, Look unto God. He will provide for us. Pastor Caleb, see, you're my friend. Unless you're lying to me when you say you're experiencing the same challenges. If not, you will not speak like this. No, no. Do you know what it means to say we, that we bear the banner of Christ, we are the ones suffering? Ah, no. Pastor Marvin, you need to be patient. The Bible says, let patience have a perfect work in you, that you might be perfect and entire wanting nothing lacking nothing just be patient things will turn out for good okay look unto god he's our source he's the one to provide for us okay the fans may not be there now but hold on to the word of god he's our provider if he calls you you keep you you make sure you have everything that you need all right 
Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Thank you for being a friend. You know, every time I'm down like this, I come to speak to All you. Right. A, a word will just come. Now I'm, I've seen clarity. I've gotten clarity. I know what to do. I've been, you know, I've been in a box <laughs> for a long time. Now, thank you. You know, that's that. We, we, we thank, thank God. Thank you we very thank God. much. Ah, I'll leave now. It's okay. It's all thank, right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. All right. Yes, have fun. Been. The Lord continue to strengthen you in this world. Amen. Work. You Amen. too. Amen. Amen. All right, brother. Charles, I don't understand. Uh, man of God said he wants to see us. And he sounds so urgent. I hope so. <gasps> Maybe I don't know. Let's wait for him to come. Well, ah, man of God. <laughs> Please, uh, come and sit, sir. <laughs> Have a seat, sir. Sit on my own. Thank you. Um, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, you can sit. Oh, your... God, sir. <laughs> Ah, guys, thank you for coming to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I want to discuss something with you people. Yes, sir. Listen, first of all, you guys know me. I've yes, been yes, your pastor God. for a very long time, right? And you know I'm genuine. You know my yes, heart sir. is for the Lord. Yes, sir. But you know, it's very important that we discuss some matters so we can progress, right? Yes, sir. Uh, if we see the situation of this ministry now, Things are not going the way they are supposed to go. You know, and I've, this, it has been a thing of concern for me. I've been worried. We labor, we labor, we labor. You go on social media, bam, a young man will just rise up, opposed to this, opposed to that. People will just fill their church. And we are here, we that we have the genuine power of the Lord. We move in power here. You, you, you're not just a brother to me now. You're basically my assistant. And you, Brother Richie, even though you're the only church member we have, and uh, what's her name? The other sister, come and go, come and go. But you've been the most faithful member. Thank you, sir. And I don't know. It, I've just been, you know, this, it has just been disturbing me. I said I should share this with you people. So maybe you guys have an insight to things, what we can do to move forward. Tell us, man. This thing that you just said now has been in my mind. Or I never wanted to say it. Mm. Because I don't know how other people will feel about it. You know, Brother Richie is here. If I say this kind of thing now, it can make Brother Richie to backslide. So I only remember. Uh, man, man of God, me yeah. too. Like all this why I've been thinking about it. You know, sometimes only me, I'll be the only member in church. It, sometimes it's so boring. But I don't know how to discuss this with you. You know, you're my you're my man of God, now, so I don't let I me. Mean, I don't want to offend you. See, guys. So what do you want? What do, what do we do? We've come into a, we've come into a stage now where we have to use wisdom. Yes, sir. See, we have this power. Yes, sir. No that's doubt. True. That's true. What I want to share with you people: have an open mind. Listen. If you say it's wrong. We'll repent now. We go. No one is perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Have an open mind. Let's think about this carefully, and see how we we'll go forward. We have this power. I say, okay. We kind of keep this power first. Yes. Okay. okay. The power of the Lord we have, mm -hmm. and then we invite people strategically. We use wisdom, get people to come, and then we use the real power. So what I'm saying is, we. I, God help me. Speak forth, man of God. Listen. Hmm. We create our own miracle. Yes? Okay. And then when people come, we now start using the real miracle. Ah. I should have said it now. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, wait, you wait, wait, man of God. If I want to I want to try to understand what you are saying. Are you suggesting we fake the miracle? Uh, using the word fake has a judgmental on that tune to it. I don't like using the word fake. Brother Richie, it's not fake. Arrangement. Ah. Oh, see, okay. when I went to meet my friend, uh, Pastor, Pastor Caleb, he said something. He said, those that God called, he equipped. Hmm. God have equipped me with such people with wisdom. 
See the way I've just said this. To be honest, I was scared to bring this thing out to you. And now, you, you, you know what, man of God? I just got an idea now. I will be in charge of, I will be the one to get the information of these people. I'll just source out the information and tell you. That happens. Ah. When God against something, no man can disagree. Yes, sir. At all. Let's not waste time. See, I think we have to be fast with this thing. We have this power. Yes, sir. And people need to know that there is power in this place. Yes, sir. Man of Do you God. understand what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't have power, I won't be following you. <sighs> See, I've asked you to sell the church camera. Have you sold it? Uh, no, 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 no. no. <sighs> God, no, wonderful. Yes, so imagine you've kept it in now. Let's start. Bring that camera. Go, 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 go bring it. <sighs> nice idea. Because, <sighs> because we can't be every time we're going back and forth, back and forth, yes, back sir. and forth. The things we can do here, can they do it? Just oh. think of apostle to this, apostle to that, apostle to you. think <sighs> they are giving apostle for free. <sighs> They've not labeled the way we've labeled. Yes, sir. Man of God. You have it. <laughs> I have it. And I saw our sister. She came. Ah. <laughs> she came today. Yes. Sister, you're welcome. The day that the Lord have decided. Sister, you're blessed. Let's welcome. not waste time. Get up. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, we do this now. Okay. You you do the miracle. Yes. And you know you can't show my leg. We're not there yet. No, no, no problem. No. Yes. You know, you're the only one that knows how to use this thing. Okay. On TV, they are always, the usher is always standing on the... On the left, on the left, and you put the microphone. Yes, okay. You you start the camera. <laughs> mm. Okay. Blind eyes. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. No, you'll be doing like you're blind now. Yes. <laughs> yes. You see, I am a short of power. When people start talking about power, they have no idea what they are talking about. How God anointed Christ with the Holy Ghost and what and with power. We went around doing what? Healing all manner of diseases and doing good things. Today we'll show you the raw power of God. This young man has been blind for a very long time now. How many years have you been blind? Five years, sir. Please speak louder. How many five, years have five you been years, blind? Sir, five, five years, years you've been blind. Yes, sir. Can you see my hands? How many fingers am I holding no, up? No, sir. I can't so see if I anything. try to punch you, you are not seeing me. No, sir. You see, genuinely blind. And today we're going to release the power of the Lord upon him. Are you ready to receive this power? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Power is flowing for your leg now. From your leg. I can see it. Your intestine is moving. Power. 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 Out. Blind eyes. Open. 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 The, the Lord just opened my eye now and I'm seeing that is a snake spirit that caused this thing. For his eyes. You see camera? Come closer. Come closer. See what's happening to his eyes. You can see what's happening to his eyes. Oh yeah. Open. Open. Now open. I say open. 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 What's happening to you, young man? You can. I can see. You can see. Yes, sir. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> see. Power is in demonstration. You can't, you, 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 you can't just go around and see these things happen. Can you see how many fingers am I holding? But I've got two. From this place, show, camera show, how many fingers is this? Three. How many am I holding? Three, sir. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Ho, 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 ho. Power. Power. Cut. We'll do another quickly. Change your clothes, yes. Change, change, change. Okay, Yes. See, we'll trade. When they come, we'll not use the power. Your hair, do it one kind so they don't know it's the same people. Uh -huh, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, you stay. What do we do now? Uh -huh. Deaf. And people are getting deaf these days. Stay. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's fine. Don't know. Remember, you've had another shirt. Uh -huh. Camera rolling. Camera rolling. Deaf. You, uh, uh, you, you get it. Okay, guys. This is another day of raw power. Young man, what's happening to you? We can't communicate to him because he's deaf. But the Spirit of God will give me the ability to communicate with him. Young man, how many years have you been deaf? 15 years. 50 straight years of deafness and dumbness. Can you be healed? Yes, you believe. Are you ready? The power of the Lord. We move through you. You'll be acting like you're possessed now. You know what to do this. Sorry, sorry. The power of the Lord is about to move in you. Going through you now. Spirit of deafness. Out. Power, 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 power,
you hear me? Yes, sir. You can hear me? Yes, sir. Can you see that? He? The Lord taught him how to speak English. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repeat after me, Jesus. 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 Jesus! Jesus! Glory! <laughs> power is power! And welcome. If you want to see more of this power in reality, come and visit us at John St. Street 24. On Sunday, we move in power. Amen. 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 Young man. Young man. I'm man of God. When this church gets active, you'll be head of drama yes, department. <laughs> you're active everywhere. Ah, young lady. Ah, ah, you, you don't think you're an experienced social. Yes, sir. Do you know what? Now yes. and tomorrow we'll film a Magin Spirit. Yes, sir. So go on YouTube, watch videos, how Magin Spirit they possess and you come, you fit the description. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. She's sir. okay for you, sir. Wear these clothes. Yes. Come. All right. Between like Magin Spirit. A lot of, a lot of makeup, a lot of makeup. Just, okay, yes. Okay, Just okay, be Magin Spirit. That. Yes. Yes. Sir. Learn, rehearse, and tomorrow everything will be okay. No problem. <laughs> it's God that brought this <laughs> idea. <laughs> we will make it. <laughs> We've made it. What are you saying? Assistant, assistant. Pastor. I like how humble you got, even after we've made money. I learned from you. Wow. See, I like when God just rescues people. What's that you're putting on? Versace. Ah, uh, it's my man of God. <laughs> Brother Richie. My man of God. Have a seat, have a seat. Have a seat. <gasps> Brother Charles, how are you? Uh, uh. See the way you're shining. <laughs> I'm jealous in this guy. When we started this, we started one month, two months. Still, you thought it was a joke. Look yes, at uh. us now. Money. <laughs> uh, another good news, sir. Yes. Just bought a new car. Mm, money making machine. <laughs> a new car. 2024 GLC. Hey, How about you? Do you know what? What I think this guy does is he buys a new clothes and then he looks for which color of car will match. Yes, sir. The new clothes. So he just buys cars. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Rich boy. Yes, sir. Rich guy. Wow. Yeah, that reminds me, man of God. About uh, that's uh, the client that is coming. Yes. You know, I went like down to source out her information. Everything about her. You Even the everything. last place that she visited. Take a look. The siblings, everybody, everything is there, sir. <laughs> Rose is her name. Yes, sir. And brother George, uh, sister Lilian. Yes, sir. <laughs> she even went. This one travels a lot. Yes, that's she the last place Yes, sir. And with a friend, you've gone in depth to this research. Oh, yes. well, every week you're coming I to the innovative <laughs> way to make this prophecy sharp, sharp. Yes, sir. Nice. Uh, nice. That shouldn't be our focus. Okay. See here. The real thing is this. This girl, she's classic. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean. We have to perfect whatever we are going to do today. Okay, okay. Have I ever prophesied wrongly before? I, I believe no, you, no, but I'm no, just no, saying no, 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 I will not be doing this. Step higher. Step higher. Okay. No, she has money. Uh -uh. The husband is a politician. No, she's also yes. a politician. I forgot to tell you, the husband is a politician. Wife of a politician. Yes, sir. They have money. The money. moment you guys said that now, my eyes just open. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm just seeing. My pastor. I'll practice everything where he okay, goes. Sir. Rose, Rose, brother George, sister Lillian, Rose, brother George, sister Lillian. We went to Bahamas holiday. Yes. Michelle, 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 don't forget Michelle. Michelle, Michelle, her friend, Michelle. Okay, yes. Did someone step in? Yes, sir. man of God. Someone stepped in? Yes, man of God. You know, I was in my inner chamber yes, sir. spending time with the Lord. And the Lord said, my son, go outside. I said, Father, I want to spend more time with you. Yes, sir. I've been doing this fasting and prayer one month straight, no food, no water. Mm. And he said, no, someone stepped in with the situation. Go outside. Yes, sir. I said, Father, I don't want to leave the inner chamber. Yes, my father. I said, okay, Father, if it's truly you, show me the person. Mm. And I saw the person in the realm of the spirit. Yes, sir. I said, Father, I'm still not going to leave your presence. Until my father. Tell me the name of the person. Mm. 
He says, son, are you arguing with me? I said, never, father. Yes, sir. He says, go. I said, but tell me her name. He showed me. Mm. And I saw a flower. Mm. I said, father, what does this mean in the realm of the spirit? And he said, Rose. Mm. Rose, Rose. What's the that? mystery revealer. Rose, what's that? What's that? That's your name, Rose. <laughs> Power. Speaks. Let me hear what you're That's my name. That's my name. Your name is Rose. He is, man of God. <laughs> Liquid matter. I say, I'm not going to leave. I say, never me leave. I say, Father, anyone could just be Rose. Yes, sir. I say, show me something deeper. He says, okay, son, now you're making it too, too difficult. He says, okay, and Rose. And then he showed me a song started playing. Jo, 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 the jungle. Jo, 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 the jungle. And I said, George, George, what is George? Wow, George is my brother, and you know that song used to be uh, like you know. A he joke. loved the song. Yes, yes, sir. The Lord took me to his childhood mm. and showed me his favorite song before he called oh, his wow. name. So George is your brother. George is my brother. Yes. I said, Lord, I'm not gonna leave. Anyone yes, could just be George. Wow. Go the pastor. Show me someone else. Yes, sir. And he showed me. I saw yellow, yellow flowers. I said, what's this? What's this? What's this? He said, like sounds like my name, Lily, Lily of the Valley, Lily, Lily, and Lily. That? That's. Oh, man of God, that's my sister. <laughs> Revelation power. Power. Take it on. My father. Go see, to see, when we do these things, people think we're just joking around. Hmm? You see, many young men, they try to want to be like us. Yes, sir. They don't know how far we've gone with God. Yes, sir. Have I come to your house before to eat? No, of course not. Okay, no. Did you, did you, you showed me all this information no, about your family no, members? Man, not at all. Not so at all. how am I supposed to know this? I, I believe it's Don't God. worry. And I said, what? What, Father? No, no, no. Okay, okay. What? What? Okay, Rose. Our brother's name is George. Our sister's name is... It could be anyone. Yes, sir. Show me something intimate. Yes, sir. Spectacular. Yes, sir. Like the, the motto of our church. Yes, sir. You see our church? Titled, spectacular. I said, show me something spectacular. Yes, sir. He says, son, now you're making it a bit too much. Go oh. outside and meet this. I said, no, Father. Show me yes, sir. this mountain. And then he said, okay, she went to holiday. Mm. I said, okay, anyone could just go to holiday. Yes, sir. He opened my eyes and I saw the map of very the white, sir. And then an I just shot behind me in the realm of the spirit. Yes, sir. I went to a country and yes, I saw ba, 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 Bahamas. Mm. Bahamas, not bananas. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, did you go there? Yes, I did. You went there for holiday. Yes, I did. Man, you went with someone called Michelle. Michelle, you oh, went with God, Michelle. That's my best friend. <laughs> Was I there in the holiday no. with you? Have you seen me before ever? No. Am I your family member? How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> Celebrate grace. Celebrate grace. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Power. power. I say it's power. Power is not powder, sir. Yes. <sighs> You went to the beach, didn't you? Oh, yes, man of God, hmm. I did. You used bikini in the beach, no? Well, no. How am I, I supposed did. to know that? Do I know? Power. Raw power, not power. power. Sir. Young lady, why are you sitting down? Um, man of God, the thing is, I've got this heart condition. And so I can't, you know, I can't be standing for too long. And I actually have a, you know, surgical appointment coming up in a few weeks. So, yeah, I get tired. So you have a heart a heart condition, yes. Your heart has problem. Pretty much. And you have a uh, surgery schedule. Yes, man of God. Hmm. <laughs> I knew this. Yes, sir. <laughs> I knew this. Yes, sir. I saw it. I said, okay, should I tell her her problems? I said, sometimes you give the ladies the chance to express themselves. Yes, sir. So there will be joy. So she would talk out yet. I would have told you. Yes, sir. When you wanted to sit down, I saw you sitting down in the realm of the spirit. It is. is that not a chair? It is a chair. How we knew before we put the chair there. Oh, yes, sir. Because we know you need to sit down. Yes. Oh, wow. Young lady, God wants me to pray for you Amen. and heal you of that Amen. heart problem. Yes, sir. Power. power. I say it's power. Mm. Young lady, we don't joke around yes, in this sir. place. Power, no pancakes, sir. Man of God, are you angry? Yes, sir. The hour has come, sir. Young lady. Yes, man of God. Power is no powder, sir. God can heal you. No, no, no. You need to anointed. Thank you, sir. God can heal you. Amen. Have you seen raw demonstration of the power of God? My first time. Take it. <laughs> power. My father. Get up, get up. Go get the up. pastor. Come out of the anointing. Mm. Now. The bulldozer. Mm. Wow. Can you believe God can heal you? I, I, yeah, yeah, I've been. Have you seen? Have you seen our videos? Oh, yeah, that's actually what brought me here mm. because I saw your videos and you put your address 
on the video, so that's why I came. What's that problem if we've called mad people? What's that problem if the deaf have spoken? Yes, sir. If the eyes have seen? Yes, sir. Just hearts? Young lady, I'm going to pray for you now. Oh, thank you. But you see, our God is not like this other God. Our yes, God deals with specifics. Uh, what will you do for God when God heal you now? Uh, well, I can do pretty much anything. Like anything you want. The young lady, that's vague. That's the God of, the, of these people. What will you be specific? Yes. Our God goes direct. What can you do for the Lord? We speak in figures here. Yes, we don't speak in parables. Um, yes, uh, okay, I don't know. Is 500,000 enough? 500,000 words. Speci- ah, don't you are, you are making God angry. 500,000 words. $500,000, is that enough? Yeah! <laughs> that, that's massive. That's big. Get up. Come out of the power, 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 power. You see, he touched me and he fell. Yes, sir. That's power. <laughs> you will give God what? $500,000. When you said that, I saw the Lord in the realm of the Spirit yes, stand sir. up from his throne. Mm. He said, don't all, 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 only heal her. Yes, he said, give her five hearts. Yes, sir. Put one here, put yes, one here, put yes, one here, put yes, one here, put one here. Yes, yes, if one heart spoils, yes, the other one will regenerate. Mm. If the second one spoils, yes, the third one will regenerate. Yes, power is power. Power. Come on. Yeah. Young lady. Yes, man of God. Okay, young lady. As I was speaking, the Lord left me and spoke to my yes, sir. to okay. speak to me. Yes, sir. Right. Now power is moving all over. Yes, sir. Amen. You are under power as well. Amen. God says I should not move until you do a transfer. Yes, sir. As in, because so much church or church or church or church or doesn't move God. Action. As in right now. Listen, young lady, now. Oh. God is already about to sit down on his throne if you don't do pass quickly. Uh, if he sits down now, your power, your deliverance have gone. Show okay. detail so okay, I can yes. just confer it. Uh, okay. Just say, Alright, you should get in on like it. One minute, sir. let me check the phone inside the office. Check if it's not there. God don't do nothing. Young lady, don't play with God. If you deceive God. No, no, I sent it. I sent ah, it. Yes, sir. The money is there. 500,000. Hey! <laughs> yes, sir. Hey! Hey! Get up, get power. up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Mm. Change our 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 Power has moved. Yes, sir. Young lady, you shaking God. Yes, sir. You move God. God is on the throne shaking. Get up. Hey, hey. Get, up get up, young lady. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Listen to me. I will pray for you. Maybe yes, you will go home and the heart is not working yet. Yes, Wait. You know heart is the engine of the body. Yes, sir. Right, it needs right. fuel. Yes, sir. Uh, the, okay. the engine not yet to go. So the heart will start working. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. So right. when you, I pray for you now and the heart is not really working, wait. Okay. So it will kick up, right? You have a car. Yes, you know sir. how cars work. Right. Engine, oh right. yeah, move, right. Right. right? Young lady, stand there. Hey, this way, this way. My brother. father. Hey, my father. Hey, Kabaya. The bulldozer. Hey, the moon is strong. Bulldozer yeah. is here. Yeah. Mm. Bulldozer is here. Yeah. Mm. To bulldozer everything. Hey. Bulldozer is here. Yeah. Hey. Bulldozer is here. Yeah. What do you mean she's not breathing? I think she's dead. Come, 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 
Oh, wait. So, 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 Bragichi, this whole power that will be demonstrating, you people were pranking me. So, half of my day today, because you, you have no respect for the anointing. Since you've started making money, you have, you, you have no respect. Of God, this is serious. Where is the assistant? You are, you are only pranking me. So, I've just wasted my time. Get up from here, please. Raise her up. Let's. She's even paid actor as well. I'm coming, sir. I'm coming, sir. Where are you going to? <laughs> Young lady, they never leave you. Oh, yeah, get up. Let's start. Jesus. There is blood. Jesus, should I call the ambulance? Jesus, Jesus. What? I swear to God. Listen to me. Listen to me. I swear to God. She fell on the floor. I, please, I swear to God. That officer. I use my genuine power. I use my new power and I wake you in the office. Come with me. Listen to the mistake. Listen. Don't. Please, please. Now, care, Jesus. You don't. Thank you for coming. It's not as if I don't want to look at you, but what they've done to my eyes. What a... Hey, what's some of it? What happened? You know my story, and everyone is talking about it. We started this thing, and I said, okay, I should just invite some members with some strategic ways, and that's how I got stuck. When money started coming, I could not leave. And I continue, and I was praying for a lady. And she fell and hit her head, and she died. Oh. And now they are charging me with first degree murder because they said I was trying to go and hide the body. But I was just trying to take her to hospital. Pastor Murphy. Thank you for coming. This is, this is serious. You have uh, your ministry. You got to a new center now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of members. God has been faithful. Yeah. I mean, God has been blessing us. I'm, I'm concerned about you, Pastor Mavi. Please, please, don't worry. I'll, I'll face this call. Just join me in prayer that the Lord accepts my soul. Tired of talking, God. You're leaving already. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is... <laughs> Praise God. I'm sure you all laughed like I did. I laughed until I couldn't laugh anymore. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you see, very, very important lessons to learn very very important lessons to learn and this is pastor they are now big actors wow praise god dramas are getting better and better this drama team of yours they are quite funny praise god hallelujah praise god now it was very very funny and so many things we laughed about but this is a reality and these things actually happen someone says pastor we need part two and when the guy is locked up in in prison how is he gonna come out hallelujah praise god but we see praise god forever hallelujah there are so many lessons to learn from this one I think firstly, 
the other day I talked about patience. I talked about patience. You know, patience is one of the greatest virtues that anyone could have. Patience. Hallelujah. Now, the guy was not necessarily a fake pastor. He was not. He was genuinely called. Just like his friend and pastor Caleb. He was genuinely called. He was genuinely called. But in vision. <laughs> What happened to Brother Charles and Brother Richie? I know Richie Ralph was like, all of them escaped. Is the pastor that they hold? Praise God. Praise the pastor. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Impatience. You know, sometimes we see some people who are out there, you know, doing big things and succeeding and stuff like that. But you don't know their story. You don't know their story. You don't know how they got to where they are. You don't know their story. Praise God. So many people want to just be all that so fast. Praise God. They want to be all that so fast. And so when they are trying and it looks like it's not working how they want, what they do, they now start doing things, other things. Praise God. Just so they can... Um, make it so fast there in life there is no shortcut to success there's no shortcut to success hallelujah there is no shortcut you must go through every class you must go through every process praise god you must go through every process if you read the bible in the book of luke chapter one let me show you something about john the baptist we talk about John the Baptist, Luke chapter 1, verse 80. Luke chapter 1, verse 80. Hallelujah. Now, this is talking about John the Baptist. It says, And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. The Bible says the child grew and walked strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. Hallelujah. Till the day of his showing to Israel. Hallelujah. He was in the desert. That's how it usually is. When you are in the desert, nobody sees you there. Nobody knows you there. A desert is a place where nobody lives. People don't live in deserts. But God will keep you in the desert for training. That's the time you're doing stuff and nobody's showing up. That's the time when you are doing a lot of things. Nobody's showing up. Hallelujah. You are doing, you're doing things. You know, nobody, nothing is happening. Praise God. Nothing. Nothing is happening. Hallelujah. That time, God will use that time to test what is your motive. Why are you doing what you are doing? What is your motive? Why are you doing this thing? At those times, you will spend money. You will spend money and to do a program, for example, and you're not going to get any profit. Nothing will come out of it. Nothing. Nothing will come out of it. Praise God. God will do it to test your motive, to see what is in your heart. That's what he will do. Praise God. Glory to God. And when God sees that your heart is genuine, when he sees that your heart is right, then you say, okay, it's time to put this one out there. But when people go ahead of themselves, when they go before their time, 
they go out before their time that's when things like this happen and so you want to seek other means to make it the whole thing now becomes a business to you and some of you probably have had experiences with people like that because these things are real and they happen these things are real and they happen some of you probably have had experience with people like that they call you they want to pray for you and you know you have to sow a seed there's nothing wrong with sowing seeds but it's how it is done it's how it is done You noticed before they prayed for her, they made her to do a transfer. They made her to send money. They do a transfer before they even prayed for her. And you know, they do all these things. Get somebody's information. Only here, those things don't happen. They can't happen. I mean, how? Like, there's no even need for that. Uh huh. Berlin Williams says, it happened to me last year, Pastor. Yeah. There are a lot of people who do these things. A lot. A lot of people do these kind of things. It's sad, but it actually happens. And these things never end well. People that do these things, they are cursed. It's a curse. It's a very serious curse. It's a very serious curse because they are making mockery of the things of the spirit They're making mockery of the things of god it's a curse a serious a serious curse and these times these are generational curses it doesn't just stop with one person to go to the next generation praise god glory to god it goes from one generation to another it's a very dangerous thing, but it happens. There are some people who are so conscious about money that they, be, they don't care. They don't care anymore. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Yes, they ask you how much you want to give God before they pray for you. I've been there before. Praise God. Glory to God. Again, I always say this. I like to balance things. There's nothing wrong with sowing and giving in the house of God to support the work. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you are doing what you are doing as with money as your focus, tell people to give before you pray for them or anything like that. No, Jesus said freely you have received, freely give. Yeah. They just care about the bling bling and the Gucci. Jesus said, freely you have received, freely give. It's free. It's free. You don't pay for it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And even though this drama, uh, so many things we laughed about, but there are very, very important lessons to learn. First, on the side of the pastor, Wait for the timing of God. Uh -huh. Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 says, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. You're not supposed to be charging for these things. So when we have prayer meetings, oh, like yesterday's service, I didn't ask anybody to sow any seed before I prayed for them. Uh-huh. Yes, my friend just told me that she had to give this lady $300 just to pray for her. See, I'm telling you, first of all, anyone that tells you like that, first of all, it will not, the, the prayer will not work, first of all. Okay, someone says, yes, Pastor, it happened to me too. Mm -hmm. Praise God. It, it just won't work. I like this comment. That's why the word is so powerful. That's why you have to come back on Wednesday to hear the word of God. Praise God. Glory to God. So on the side of the pastor, patience. Wait. God's time is the best. See, sometimes I tell these stories to let people know where I'm coming from. 
some of you probably have heard them before if you hear them if i say this thing 10 years from now i'll say the same thing to let you know that what i'm telling you is true praise god 25 years ago i was a teenager 25 years ago and i'll go out into the fields at midnight to go and pray I'll go out to the fields to go and pray. I'm talking about 25 years ago. And what am I praying for? What was I praying for? Sometimes I had my friends would go out at night. There was a basketball court where we would go and meet to pray. And sometimes we'll pray all night. As a teenager, that's what I was doing. And what were we praying for? I was praying, say, send us around the world with the news of your saving power, your eternal plan for all mankind. That's what we are praying for. We were praying, Lord, we want to see miracles. We want to see blind eyes open. We want to see deaf ears open. We want to see the lame walk. We want to see the power of God in manifestation. I was praying this kind of prayer 25 years ago. 25 years ago. I was praying and say, Lord God, use me for your glory. I'm talking about 1999, I was praying this prayer. That's the year I first became a leader in ministry. 25 years ago. And we're praying this prayer. There was a time a man of God, a man of God, a man of God, Pastor Chris, was having a, a crusade in our city. Me and my friends were going from street to street. We were preaching. We were preaching. I'm talking about 1999 now. Inviting people, sharing flyers, preaching. And what we were doing then was that we were going from house to house. Now, when we got close to my house, one of my friends would preach. Because if I preached around my house, my parents would... would they will hear, they will know my voice. Praise God. So when we got to our house, our neighborhood, somebody else will preach and invite people for the program. Then when we get to their own house area, we would do the same thing. And we were preaching. We hired a boss. We were, I was, we were teenagers. We hired a boss and got people, we, we got people to go for that program. We started organizing programs, started doing programs. Way back 2000, 2001, every Christmas we had this program we call Xmas with Jesus. And we invite people like that, pray. power of God was manifesting. We're doing all these things 20-something years ago. Praise God. When we were doing that, there was nothing like Facebook or even YouTube. We're doing it because we loved God. Uh -huh. I had to pay $300 for holy water and oil. Nothing works. Praise God. I'm very careful with some of these things. My mom knows. My mom will remember. My mom is watching right now. She remember we used to do these programs. Christmas period. Xmas with Jesus in the neighborhood. We we'll go and invite. I remember the time we rented our bus. She was the one that gave us the money to go pay for the bus because we 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 we, we shook her a bit at after she my mom my mom <laughs> let me know that story today <laughs> praise god praise god my mom was really really amazing hallelujah glory to god but we did those things when we we're doing it nobody knew so somebody will see me today you see me today doing what I'm doing, but you don't know my story. You don't know my story. You don't know where I'm coming from. Praise God. We'll go from street to street preaching. We went on evangelism, morning cry. Sometimes I wake up at night, escape from the house. I'll go to the field to go and pray. We're doing all those things. Praise God. Today, look at what God is doing. 
Today, my confidence is big. In 2016, we went to Africa. I went back to Nigeria, 2015, November. And I started doing programs. When I was doing these programs, miracles were happening. People were getting healed. Miracles were happening. God was using that to build my confidence. God was using it to build my confidence, to strengthen my confidence. So by the time I came to America, I've already built my confidence in the wilderness when nobody knew me. Praise God. I already built my confidence when nobody knew me. I like this comment. I was two years old. Very good. <laughs> so that lets you know how long. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God used that to build my confidence. Be patient. Wait. God's time is the best. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that's for the pastor. That's for the one in ministry. Don't go ahead of yourself. Wait for the time of God. Hallelujah. And then also to the members, to people in generally, don't be desperate. Don't be desperate. The reason why people fall for people like this is desperation. Don't go in search of the hand of God. Go in search of the face of God. Go in search of the face of God. Don't go in search of the hand of God. Go in search of the face of God, not the hand of God. Go because you want to know God, not because of what you want to receive from God. But the thing is this, when you know God, he will release his power to you. Praise God. That's what it is. It's the reason why a service where we're praying for people, a miracle service, you see many people will show up. When it's a teaching service, you see less people because they don't understand these things. They don't understand these things. The miracle that will stay is not the one that came on you on Tuesday. That's not the one that will stay. It's the one that came on you from the right knowledge of the word of God. That's the one that will stay. I was listening to a message by Kenneth Hagin last week. We hear of some of these powerful ministers of God, of God like Catherine Coleman, Oral Roberts, William Branham. And I was listening to this message by Kenneth E. Hagen. And he said he saw people in the meetings of Catherine Coleman that during the meeting they were healed. But after the meeting, the sickness came back. After the meeting, the sickness came back. It happens. They came for a meeting. He prayed for them. They got healed. Like the pain was gone. The heart condition completely left. The kidney was healed. The liver, they, they were healed. Genuinely healed. But immediately they left that atmosphere. Went back to their normal life. The problem came back. It's no surprise, even Jesus said it. Let me show you. The book of Matthew chapter 12 and verse 43. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 43. I want you to watch this. Now Jesus is speaking here. Hallelujah. It says when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. Pause. This is to tell you that majority of the things that people are going through are caused by unclean spirits. Majority of the sicknesses, things that are happening 
like the lady I talked about yesterday, I said, there's something on your head. I see it's a problem with your head. And you have to wear something to ease that situation. I've never seen a case like that before. I never heard of a thing like that before. But I saw it in a vision. And I said it. Only to get the confirmation, I think it was Grace Kaifa or so. That because of this constant headache, she has to wear a hat. Because of the constant headache she was having. She was feeling. But after that declaration, instantly she was healed. The headache was gone. That kind of headache was caused by spirit. So once the demon leaves, the person gets healed. He says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places. The unclean spirit will go and roam about in dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. What does he do? Verse 44. Then he said, I will return to my house. I will return to my house from whence I came out. Do you understand? See, when they come out, their goal, their desire is to come back. Their desire is to come back. I will return into my house from whence I came out. It doesn't matter who cast them out. Even if it is Jesus that cast them out. That's why Jesus would tell people, say, go and sin no more. Lest something worse happens to you. Even if it is Jesus that cast the demon out. This is how it happens. This is how it happens. He will say, I will go. I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it, it empty. If when he comes back, he finds the house is empty, swept and garnished. But it's empty. It's empty. He comes back and he finds it empty. It's clean, but it's empty. What is he going to do? Next verse. Then goeth he and taketh with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. That's what Jesus said. This is what happens. So it doesn't matter who prays for you. This is what people don't understand. The prayer meeting is great. We pray for people. We cast out devils. We heal the sick. And all these things happen. Yes! But that is just the beginning. That is just the beginning. After you have been healed. Pastor, if that... Or, or that those demons can't return back to that house, where would they go? They go back to hell. They go back to hell where they were set, where they came from. Praise God. See, God never promised us that while we are on earth, we will not face attacks. We were not promised such. That's something people need to understand. We were not promised such. As long as we're in this world, that's a possible. Satan can attack. If he comes and he finds any room, he can attack. And that's why he said to be armed. He says, put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, of the enemy. Praise God. That's why he said so. Put on the old, be armed, be prepared. How can you be armed without the word of God? It's impossible. That's why the word of God must be your delight. It must be your delight. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 says, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why the word is important. 
Praise God. See, let me tell you something. There are two ways, two major ways in which to receive your miracle. Two major ways in which to receive a miracle. Number one is through the gift of the Spirit. For example, the gift of healing. Now you see, this one, it works by the will of God. That's why there are sometimes, there are some people we pray for, nothing happens. Praise God. It's by the will of God. But the other one is by the word of God. When you put the word of God to work, if you read the book of Psalms, Psalm 107 and verse 20, the Bible says he sent his word and he healed them of their diseases and delivered them from their affliction. He sent his word and he healed them. Now, yesterday you were there, you saw the power of God in manifestation. Yeah, Psalm 107 verse 20, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Healing and deliverance through the word. This one is the most effective and most guaranteed one. This one, through the one that comes from the word, is the most effective and the most guaranteed one. The one that comes from the word. He said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline thine ears to my saints. Do not let them depart from their heart. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Do not let them depart from their mouths. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Medicine to all their flesh. They are life. The word of God is life to your flesh. If you apply the word, 10 times out of 10 times, it will work. 10 times out of 10 times, it will work. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 22. It says, For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. The word health there is from the Hebrew word marpe, which actually means medicine. So when you are speaking the word to yourself, it is like taking medicine. It's like taking medicine. As you are speaking the word, it's like you are taking medicine. Let's say the doctors discovered you have a problem with your liver. They discovered this problem with your liver. Do you know you can take, there's a medicine you can take. Regularly, you keep taking this medicine and your liver will be completely healed. If you'd only take that word and begin to speak to your liver, Speak to your liver. It may not be once. See, the problem with some people is this. Once they try it one time and it looks like it didn't work or they thought it didn't work, they give up. They give up. No, no, no. Let me show you one scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. Hallelujah. Look at it. It says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sensory perceptions. Not by sensory perceptions. We walk by faith. Not by sensory perceptions. Not by sight. There are some people who send me prayer requests. After I'm going to the doctor tomorrow, please pray that they will not see anything when I go. No, wrong prayer. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong. When people, whenever some of you probably have sent me such thing, Pastor, please pray. I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow. Pray that they will not see anything. No, I don't care what the doctor sees. That's his business. I don't care what the doctor sees. I care what the word says. If God says I'm healed, 
I believe what God said. I believe what God said. So I go to the doctor and the doctor says otherwise. Who should I believe? God or the doctor? No, I choose God any day, any time. I choose God any day, any time. Praise God. I choose God any day, any time. See, as you talk to that body, it's not a one-time thing. You speak to your body, say you are getting better. In the name of Jesus, you are getting better. Years ago, I used to have severe bombs on my face. But I'd shave like that. Or have huge bombs on my face. And it was terrible. It was bad. I'd have these bombs appearing on my face. I tried everything I knew. This thing would just keep showing up. I said enough of all these things. I began to speak to my face. I said face in the name of Jesus. I began to speak. I said you'll be as smooth as my forehead. In the name of Jesus. I made that declaration for years. But it happened. It happened. It happened. All those things have completely gone. It's a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past. Hallelujah. You speak. Oh, they said you have a problem with your liver. Start talking to that liver. Say, liver, in the name of Jesus, you are getting better. You are functioning properly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sipa kote keata. Every cell, every tissue, every fiber of my being, you are getting better and better and better in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep saying it. Sometimes, let me tell you the trick of the enemy. Sometimes, when you start talking like that, it will be as if the thing will get worse. It will be as if things will get worse. Sometimes it happens like that. How many of you have had this experience? Maybe you had a wound. And then maybe something happened and you had a wound. And it's bleeding. And you take alcohol, right? And pour on that thing. What's going to happen? When you pour alcohol on it, what will happen? There will be severe pain. Am I correct? There will be severe pain. It will be very painful. It will be very painful. Praise God. But guess what? Don't be carried away by that. Don't be carried away by that. After that pain, you see everything will become. Even if you pour the alcohol again, it won't feel as painful as before. The healing process has begun. The healing process has begun. It stops the bleeding. And then from then on, it begins to heal. Praise God, it begins to heal. The same way sometimes when you declare the word of God, speak to your body. It will be as if things will get worse. Don't be carried away by that. Don't be carried away by that. Continue speaking. Keep talking to your body. Someone says, Pastor, what about the preachers? men and women of god that are sick as well you know what the bible says i like that question the book of hebrews chapter 12. hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. hebrews chapter 12. someone says does that mean that they don't believe? Just watch. Hebrews chapter 2, 12 verse 2. It says, looking unto Bishop Jenkins. I don't know any Bishop Jenkins. I'm just using that as an example. The author and the finisher of your faith. Is that what the Bible says? Or look, looking unto chief apostle 
Donica. I hope there's no name like that. The author and the finisher of your faith. Is that what the Bible says? No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus. Looking, let Jesus. My question to you is that was Jesus sick? Did you ever hear where Jesus was sick? No, he wasn't sick. Is your, your question is, what about the men of God that were sick? Does it mean that they don't believe? The answer is straightforward. Is yes. That's it. Now, let me tell you this. There's a difference between somebody who is sick and someone who has symptoms of sickness. Praise God. Oh, I'm telling you, you better believe it because this is true. Let me show you something. The book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Quick, 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 quick. What's going on? Thank you, Lord. All right. It says... And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Hallelujah. Now go to verse, because he began to give them instructions and told them things that they should do. Praise God. Hallelujah. And eventually, they went on. I'm not going to go into that. They did many miracles. They healed the sick. So many things happened from these guys. Now go to Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. And I'll read from verse... From verse 14, Matthew chapter 17, and I'll read from verse 14. Remember, the disciples, Jesus gave them power to heal the sick and cast out those and do many things, right? And they went out and they did. Now, verse 14, Matthew 17, and when they were come to the multitude, there came to him, a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, 15, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and so vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and off into the water. Verse 16, and I brought him to your disciples and they could not cure him. They couldn't. They couldn't cure him. Jesus had given them power. Now this man brings his son who has a demonic problem and the Bible says they could not cure him. The man said they couldn't cure him. Verse 17. Then Jesus answered and said, Oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and how long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. Verse 18. And Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Look at verse 19. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and asked, 
Why could not we cast him out? They couldn't understand because they have done it before. Why couldn't we cast him out? Verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Period. Because of your unbelief. That's why you couldn't cast him out. Because of your unbelief. These are people that walked with Jesus. These were the apostles that he had chosen. But they couldn't cast him out. Jesus didn't mean words here. He said, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, remove a hand to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Nothing. Hallelujah. Now in the case of people getting sick, see, that Satan attacks your body does not mean you are sick. Man is a spirit. He has a soul. And he lives in a body. So it's possible that from time to time, yes, you, your body can be attacked. Anybody. Your body can be attacked. But you must understand that your body is not you. The Bible says, through the spirit, mortify the deeds of the flesh. You can bring healing from your spirit into your body. Jesus says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. You can bring healing from your body. From inside, bring healing to your physical body. Praise God. Sometime last year, 2023, precisely February 20th or so, I began to feel strange. I began to feel strange. And so then I began to feel sick. I began to throw up. This has not happened to me in... Boy. I've never had such an experience in the longest of times. I began to feel terribly sick. I was feeling sick. And I began, from then on, it was as if I was going to pass out. But I kept speaking. I said, no, ah, no, devil, you are alive. I kept speaking to my body. You receive strength in the name of Jesus. I kept speaking. At the time, I was so weak. I was still speaking. It took a while. It took a while. In fact, it took almost three weeks for me to fully recover. But while that was going on, I was speaking. And I refused to accept that I was sick. I refused to accept it. Did I take medication? Yes, I did. I told you to fulfill all righteousness. Do what you got to do. But I refused to accept. See, ah, the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. I don't go by my feelings. I go by what God's word says. Continue to speak and speak and speak. Praise God. God's word works. Praise God. God's word works. It does work. And like I told you earlier, don't let any human being be your standard. Don't let any human being be your standard. Because prophet so and so had so and so sickness on it. it doesn't mean no he's not exact you don't know what prophet is saying back home you don't know what he's saying in his you don't know his private life you don't know that you don't know that there are some things we begin to say and things that we begin to do it opens doors for sickness you don't know that there's a very popular man of God that passed away some years ago. A little over 10 years ago or so, he passed away. And it was a shock to the whole world. But I listened to his messages. And he was a very strong preacher on purpose. Talked about purpose. And he said, 
The moment he finishes his assignment on earth, he does not want to stay here. He wants to leave. And he said anything after 60 will be boring. I heard him say that. And he was about 59 to 60 or so when that thing happened and he passed away. It didn't have to be. I don't think it had to be. Praise God. So you see something happen to somebody. Say, oh God. But no, no, no. You make a decision. Don't look at anybody. The Bible says looking unto Jesus. The author and the finish of your faith. Let Jesus be your standard. Praise God. Let Jesus be your standard. Jesus never was sick. And you can live a life without sickness. You can. You can. You can live a life in health. Praise God. In health. I don't remember when last I went to a doctor because I was sick. I don't remember. I don't remember when last. Praise God. Honestly, if there's a need for me to go to the doctor, I will go. I don't remember when last I went to a doctor because I was sick. I don't remember. Praise God. The word. Hey, the Bible says, And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified in life. Acts chapter 20, verse 32. The word of God. If you take that word and speak to yourself every day, see, in every area, not just in the area of health, I began to make declarations. I said, money is coming to me free cause and unhindered. Oh, I'm going to be very rich. I, I kept saying that. I kept saying it. I kept saying it. Money is coming. I've been making this declaration for over 20 years. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. Today I'm not there yet. But I'm not where I used to be. God has taken me far. I'm not there yet. But I'm not where I used to be. Because I'm seeing the word work. I'm seeing it work. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the word work. And you see when it comes to money. When it comes to money. When it comes to the area of money, let me tell you what happened. I told you there was a, uh, there was a, a sister was praying for and this demon was manifesting and saying stuff. And I said, okay, I was saying it while I was doing the deliverance. I said, I'm, would you like me to bless her with $1,000? And then he said, no, don't do it. Don't do it me satan says don't do something to me it's like that means you should do it so after the deliverance i told her i will send her a thousand dollars and she oh thank you she was crying oh thank you thank you thank you and i sent the money to her later the sister sent me a message said she was going to send the money back i was wondering why and she said this. She said, she told God that she wanted to sow a special seed for the year 2024. And she said, Lord, if you want me to give this money, provide the money for me supernaturally. And that's how I will know that you really want me to give this money. So, Pastor, when you gave me this money, I knew that this was the money that God had brought to me supernaturally. So I had to give it back. That's what she told me. And to her, it was a test for her. So she gave it back. So she has fulfilled. You know, the Bible says he gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So this thing about money, you have to be careful. So I knew I had to sow a seed to a particular ministry because a, a, a pastor had reached out to me about something a pastor had reached out to me about something and in my mind i was telling myself no i'm not doing this 
Ah, no, ah, no, I've sown too much seed this year. I've given too much. No, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to do this. In my mind, I knew. And I heard an inner prompting in my spirit. That $1,000 that his sister is sending back to you. You were not expecting this money back. And this sister is sending this money to you. Now use this money and sow to this pastor. That's what, that's, I knew it was God, but I was trying to like, 1000 is this small money? I've managed to give and the money has come back. Now you're telling me to give it back. Is it small money? Ah, no. Ah. I said, no. I said, mm. I just brushed that thought aside. And then earlier today, I took a nap. And in my dream, I was somewhere. And I took out my ATM card. And I went, yes, I have to sow a seed of $1,000 to this particular ministry. Exactly the ministry of that pastor that reached out to me. In the dream, I had to sow $1,000. So I took out my ATM card and I was going to do it. Before I woke up. And then when I woke up, I remembered the dream. And I remembered that there was a connection between that thing and uh, what I'd heard before that I had to sow that money. And I tried to discard it again. What kind of thing is this? Why would God be setting me up? Praise God. And then I sat down. And I was just telling God, Father, thank you so much. You blessed me financially beyond my wildest imaginations. Thank you so much for all that you are doing. Thank you so much. And God reminded me, ah, so I've blessed you, but you don't want to give. How did you get here? How did you get here? You don't want to give. Immediately I had that boom. I just quickly arranged to send the money because I know where I'm coming from and I don't want to go back there. Praise God. That's the key. It is strategic giving. God will speak to you and say, do this. He will speak to you and say, do this. When you do it, the principle is the same. He said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, running over shall men give to your bosom. That's the principle. It works. Me, God will tell me strategic times to sow seeds and stuff. He will tell me to do these things. As I do it, as I do it, I see God blessing. I see it. Somebody was saying something recently and I came across the video. It was that many video. I said, one lady that was just talking and I was like, I, I laughed. I said, I wish this person knows. I wish they know. <laughs> you know, when um, the Bible says, says so much learning. Who was that? Let me, let me read that scripture. Yeah, that was in the... You don't have to go there. It's the first one said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Much learning doth make thee mad. Like, people get, like... <laughs> what did you... Hey, I did... Hey, can you put in scripture? <laughs> you, know, you know, like, I was like, I wish they know. No, there are principles of the scripture. When you apply the scripture in your life, you can never fail. You can never fail. You can never fail. Hallelujah. The Bible says to the upright, there arises light in darkness. Even in difficult times, I'm telling you, God will come through for you. There arises light in darkness. Hallelujah. It's the way. When it comes to healing, speak to your body when it comes to finances god will god first he will bring seed to you let me show you this scripture the book of isaiah chapter 55 
Isaiah 55. I'll read from verse 10. Isaiah 55, verse 10. Isaiah 55. I want you to pay attention. It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and board, that it may give seed. Watch this. That it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Seed is for sowing. Bread is for eating. You must know the difference between seed and bread. Some people are eating their seed. When you sow your seed, that seed will, have, will uh, germinate and then bring a harvest. And out of the harvest, you take some seed and then you eat some. That's how it is. He said he gives seed to the sower. So sometimes God will give you a seed to test you. Will you eat the seed or you will sow the seed? Hallelujah. He gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Hallelujah. So sometimes God will tell you this one is a seed. Sow it. When you sow it, he will give you a harvest. That's how it happens. It's a principle of life. He will give you ideas by his spirit. He will open doors for you. It's a principle that always works. One good thing that God did for me, as a young, as a teenager, I began to read books of fathers of faith. I began to read books of, of the fathers of faith. People who went through ministry and succeeded. I began to read their books. And I saw how they lived their lives. I saw the things that they did that worked for them. And I told myself, this is exactly what I'm going to do. And since I've been doing it, God has just been awesome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So he gives seed to the soul and bread to the eater. That's how it is. So when it comes to finances, the spirit of God will tell you. Now, like I told you before, it's not only your giving in church. It's not only your giving in church. God will tell you strategic things to do. Giving is that you will give. He will tell you. When he tells you, do it. The same way God tells you and you give. That's the same way God will speak to other people and they will bless you too. They will bless you too. The same way. The same way. It is the same way. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Start at your level and use wisdom. Start at your level. See, get to a point. Let me tell you something. Because God will test you. Get to a point where material things don't mean anything to you. Get to a point where material things don't mean anything to you. There's nothing you cannot give. There's nothing you can't. Get to that point. If God says do this, how you do it? He says do this, you do it. And he will bless you more and more and more. Praise God. But you see, whatever it is that you are doing, let it be based on the word of God. Let it be based on the word of God. When you do it, you get results. Me as I am, by the special grace of Almighty God, I don't beg. I don't beg. You see, the seed you sow to me, that's what I used to sow my seed for the year and to my mom. I refuse to eat my seed. I don't even know which seed did I sow to you. I sowed seed to you. I don't even remember. You see? You see what I'm talking about? I don't even remember. I do these things when the Spirit of God leads me. I do it. Yesterday, there was someone who commented on the video. Pastor, thank you so much. You 
you blessed me with 1,000 euros in Cyprus. Now I'm in the UK. I don't even, okay, except for my birthday. I don't even remember. You see that? I don't even remember. And I'm, I'm being honest. I'm not even trying to make, I'm honest. I don't even remember. And that's what I do. Once I do this and I forget it, and I don't come out and say, oh, I did this, I did that, I did this. No, there's no need for that. When you do these things, you've got your reward. You've got your reward from the applause of men. I learned that. Some years ago, I used to copy someone. And when I see the person do, the person who put everything, receipt, everything, I was copying that thing. Deep in my spirit, I knew something was not right. You're not supposed to do it. No. And then later, I got and said, ah, yeah. No, stop. Because you receive applause from men. Men will celebrate you and say, oh, you're this, you're that. But you've gotten your reward. Got your reward. It's good. <laughs> no, we don't have to make a video to say thank you. But no, you don't have to do that. No, no. Give God glory. Appreciate God and thank him. The Bible says, what do we have that we are not given? You know, there are some people I see, they are boasting about what they did. I did this. What do you have? Is it not somebody that gave to you? Is it not somebody that gave to you? The Bible says, what do we have that we were not given? Why are you acting as if somebody didn't give it to you? Oh, I did this. I did this. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not supposed to be so. No, no. Let the God who sees you in secret reward you openly. Let the God who sees you in secret reward you openly. That's how it is. So for finances, is strategic giving. Strategic. You have to strategically. It's strategic giving that opens the door. Thank you. Thank you. It says, for who maketh thee to differ from another? Ah, yagadama say. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. Who, what, what makes you think you are different from anybody else? And what hast thou that thou did not receive? Now, if you receive it, why do you glory as if you have not received it? You have, it's true, I can testify. You've blessed me too. It's only one time I remember, I, I don't know if it's more than that. Only one time I probably did something like that. But it's just like that. He said, what, why, why are you making yourself anything? Why are you making yourself? That thing that you are giving to, somebody gave it to you. Somebody gave it to you. Praise God. And I learned these things from the word of God. I learned it from God's word. When you apply those things, I'm telling you the truth. You will see God bless you. You see? When you came to Texas, you blessed me too, Pastor, to the revival. I don't remember. See, you, you blessed me too, and it was on my birthday last day. You see, I don't even remember. And I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. These things, when God tells you, let somebody do it. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, easy English translation. Thank you so much. Do not think that any of you are better than anyone else. You receive from God everything that you have. So you have no reason to be proud of what you have. It is all a gift. It's all a gift. Don't act as if you are anything. Don't act as if you are anything. Praise the Lord. It's a very important lesson for every one of us to learn. Hallelujah. So when it comes to health, I told you, I said, there are two basic ways you can receive a miracle for your health. And basically in everything, supernaturally, through the gifts of the Spirit, you can receive miracles. But that one is by the will of God. But the sure 
The more effective and sure one is when you do it through the word of God by speaking. You speak to your health, speak to your body, speak to your finances. Speak to your finances. Speak, call forth money in the name of Jesus. Now, when you do that, God will give you seed. When you call forth money, he will give you seed. Be careful to sow this seed. Don't be greedy. Exactly. And just like it is given to you, it can be taken away. Truth. Very true. And that is a very scary thing. I don't get scared, but <laughs> that is very scary. I have experienced it before where God backed off and finances became very difficult. So I'm very careful. If he says, do this, I do it. Do it, do this like this, I do it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So one day, I'll end with this. One day, I had a dream. And an angel called me and said, I want to show you something. He took me somewhere. And there was this place, like a, uh, a closet. He opened it. It was empty. He said, close it. I closed it. He said, command money to come into that place. And I said, in the name of Jesus, money, come. And I opened, I saw money inside there. He said, take it. I took it. He said, close it. I close it again. He said, command money. He said, command money. Praise God. He said, command money to appear. And I did. It came out. Praise God. Praise God. And I did. He said, close it again. I close it. The third time, I didn't wait for him to tell me. I said, money, come out in Jesus' name. And it did. I opened it, there was money. And I came out of that vision. You speak God's word. Make that declaration. It will come. But you see, God will give you seed. It's a test. He will tell you what to do with it. First, when God blesses you financially, this is what works for me. And I've learned from the founders of faith. Take 10% and give to God. That's time. That one is not the one that you go and give to. It's not alms giving. That's for the work of God. You're giving alms giving. Praise God. Then the rest is yours. He can tell you, okay, do this. Give to this person. Give to that person. When he tells you, just do it. It's a test. When I came to America, first time, 2017, Someone gave me a $1,000. That was the first money I received in America. And God said, give this money back. Give it back. And I did. Hallelujah. And God said, you passed a major test. You passed a major test. And because of these things, money will not be difficult in your hand. And that's exactly what happened. Praise the Lord. So put the word of God to work. Hallelujah. Put the word of God to work. In your body, speak to it. Speak to your body. Speak healing to your body. Over time, keep speaking, keep speaking. The word works. Speak to your finances. Speak to every area of your life. It works. Hallelujah. And the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Because you still feel the pain does not mean it is this. Continue speaking. It's getting better. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you do it, you'll get results. Same thing with your finances. Speak. Well, about finances, sometimes God will test you and say, give this person or give that person. When you do, God will bless you. This comment says, when it comes to sowing a seed, God always rewards me double or triple the amount given. You see that? It always works. It's what I know. For me, it has worked. And I know it will work for everyone will say to work. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your word that you brought to us. Yes, the entrance of your word has brought light and understanding to us. Lord God, we know now to be patient, waiting patiently for your time and not to go ahead of ourselves. 
Lord God, we know also not to be desperate about anything, but to seek your face, to get to know you more, and not necessarily what we'll get from you. As we seek to know you more, we will receive the blessings, the miracles, and all that we need in this life. You said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Lord God, we thank you. Because as we speak the word in our lives to all that concerns us, we see things are changing for the better. Thank you, Father. Oh, Liba Sekia, your word is working in our land, producing evident results. People are seeing, they will know of a truth that your word is working. Lord, in that day, when the test comes, Lord, we will not fail that test. You are the God who gives seed to the soul and bread to the eater. We won't fail that test. We will always pass. Lord, we thank you. Marco Seke Balahanda. Oh, Rabbi Shanta, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless everyone. God bless you. Today's service, I don't know, like four hours gone almost. Where did the time go? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I'm sure you've learned something very important today. First for the drama. Very, very funny. Very, very interesting. And I think also the worship. Worship. It was a bit long, but very. Uh, the Spirit of God wanted me to keep it because you could see. Once the worship is right, most times we see miracles begin to happen. And we saw that powerful deliverance. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless everyone. If you remember, go back and listen to the message. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because when you listen to the message, repetition is the law of deep and lasting impression. When you listen to the message, again, it will make a deep impression in your heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. At this point, we're going to bless our tithes and our offerings as we give to the Lord. We take the announcement. Please don't go right after the announcement. I'll be back. Praise God. Let's have the announcement. If you're late to give an offering to the Lord, kindly make use of the following options. PayPal, Cash App, Zelle, or visit the website. Check It Church, we now have a new website, www.checkitcm.org is our new home. You can directly connect to our different social media platforms. And not only that, with the click of a button, it's so easy to watch our live videos. Feel free to reach out to us through these various means. For all these and many more, visit www checkitcm.org Keep up to date with our weekly activities Super Sunday service at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday night prayer service at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time Wednesday Bible study at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and Friday prayer meeting at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time a word in season, Monday to Saturday at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. Check it, church. Word, worship, and miracles. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. What an amazing service. Hallelujah. Praise God. For those of you who are still giving information, is on your screen. The Ash app, PayPal, Zelle. Whichever one that you're comfortable with, you can use it. You can give. Hallelujah. And if you have any issues with giving and you want to give, just send us a message and we'll let you know how you can do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What an amazing service we have had today. Today's service was somewhat different because the worship was a bit longer, but very, very powerful. Hallelujah. And we saw God deliver that dear sister and those sisters, actually. Hallelujah. And it was very, very uh, 
powerful. And then we had a, a drama, which was very funny and very, very important lessons to learn. Because the truth is that what you saw in the drama, these are things that actually happen. These are things that actually happen. Praise God. When people go ahead of themselves, not because the guy was a fake pastor, he was not a fake pastor, but uh, he was impatient. And so he wanted to make it through, through means that were just wrong. And he got into very serious trouble because of that. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. So make sure you go back and listen to the message. Very important message. I think it was short, but very, very important message. I talked about um, as a man of God, if God has called you, be patient. Wait for the timing of God. Don't go ahead of yourself. Praise God. Don't go ahead of yourself. Wait for the timing of God. And also as someone, even if you're maybe you're in need of a miracle, don't be desperate. Because when you are desperate, you fall into the wrong hands. When you seek God, you will receive miracles. You receive the power of God. So you don't fall into the wrong hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And I also talked about the word of God. Yes, the, the gifts of the spirit function, but it's by the will of God. When you apply the word of God, it always works. Speak again and again over time. The word of God works. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just a few announcements. Um, Friday, we have our Friday night prayer. Glory to God. And we're going to be spending time in prayer. Glory to God. Make sure you join us on Friday. Hallelujah. And then, of course, on Sunday. Sunday is Resurrection Day, Easter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we're going to be having a super Sunday service. It's going to be powerful. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Make sure you, you join us. You will definitely be blessed. Hallelujah. As we celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So make sure you join us. Invite somebody. Then starting from Monday, which is April 1st, we're going to be having seven days of fasting and prayer. Glory to God. I just feel like it's timely. We should have that. So from April 1st to April 7th, we'll be fasting and praying. Praise God. So every day we'll be coming on to pray and to hear what God has to say from April 1st, which is a Monday, until April 7th, which is a Sunday. Hallelujah. Praise God. So make sure you prepare for it. That drama was funny, but informative. A lot of important things to learn from it. That's right. Praise God. Glory to God. So next week, we're not going to be having the Tuesday night prayer, but some people will be looking for miracles, so they'll come that Tuesday and they'll be forced to fast. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, and this Sunday is also communion service because it's the last Sunday of the month. So we're going to be breaking bread. So prepare your communion emblems and get them ready. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God bless every one of you. I want to say big thank you to every one of you. Thank you for joining me again for yet another powerful service. Wonderful service. Thank you all. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, I, I've i always said this and I say it again and again. The times I spend with you are always the best times of my life. When some angling says, every time we fast, I always get powerful miracles in my life. So I'm ready for Monday. Hallelujah. Praise God. You all are the best. Honestly, times I spend on here, these are the best moments of my life. And I want, sometimes I wonder, what was life like before the online church started? What was life like? I don't even remember. This has become my life. Like, this is just, this is the real deal. What was life like? Praise God. Glory to God. So I'm I'm thankful to every one of you. The Czech Church is just different. There is so much fun. We laugh. And there are times we, we, we laugh. When it's time for us to pray, we pray. When it's time for us to listen to the word of God, we listen to the word of God. And there is so much fun. It's so much fun. So I'm thankful to every one of you. Honestly, I appreciate every one of you. I love you all dearly with the love of the Lord. I do. Praise God. 
and it's just amazing how else could it have been how else could you have been praise god i'm so thankful to every one of you thank you so much i also say thank you to your family members you probably have some family members who don't necessarily watch as you watch but at least they don't disturb you like that praise god we don't want to remember a taking church to the rescue that's right praise the lord glory to god hallelujah so i even say thank you to your family members at least even though they don't necessarily watch like that at least they don't bother you at least they allow you to watch so i'm even grateful to everyone praise god you all are just the best praise god nobody's an island i'm where i am today because god sent every one of you praise god hallelujah glory to god i'm always so excited to watch on the days we have services that's right and personally i look forward to those service days praise god because i get the opportunity to do the thing that i love doing what i was born to do hallelujah praise the lord so i thank you so much uh-huh chantal funny says that is right they don't disturb us thank you pastor for the word and love you all good night god bless you hallelujah thank you jesus i pray for you every one of you as you go to sleep tonight I pray that the hand of God will be upon you. I pray that angels will watch over you. I pray that no evil will befall you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the blood of Jesus around your house, the Bible says, when I see the blood, I will pass over. Every evil will pass over. They will not stop at your house. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are protected. Your family members, your loved ones are protected. You sleep peacefully. You wake up refreshed, revitalized. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless every one of you. I love you all dearly with the love of the Lord. And by the special grace of Almighty God, I will be with you again. But until I come to you again, keep living in the atmosphere of God's word, God's worship, and God's miracles. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. God bless you. Bye-bye.